Hi, everybody. Welcome to Campanelli Stadium. I'm Dominic D'Amiano, joined by Miles Jackson, the Mike the Postman Simmons, the director and producer of today's broadcast. As we have the pleasure of giving you Game 4 of the 2022 Brockton Boxers schedule coming into this Game 2-1 and one as... You might as well call this a city championship, Miles, as Cardinal Spalman up on Court Street coming down here to take on the boxes. Yeah, a lot of pride in this very early game here in Brockton for Cardinal Spalman as well as the boxes. Both of them are eager to um, take this win and uh, stick it in their back pocket and savor it for a little bit of time that they have until their next game. But, yeah, you're right. This is definitely a, a rivalry here in Brockton. The only loss the boxes have again, 2-1, and one. their loss came against Nosset. And after talking to Coach Brennan, the young man throwing for Nasser was throwing 88 miles an hour. And a couple miscues by the boxers. They were, it was basically a 0-0 game till the fourth inning. And then the game got away from Brockton. And uh, they ended up losing that game 10-0. But now they get a chance to get themselves back on, uh, back on kilter, I guess, if you want to call that, you know. As uh, Dominic Hopkins... A.K.A. Yes, he was on that very good basketball team that Miles and I had a chance to call this year. Is on the hill for the boxers, and we get ready to go into the way. They play a two-man rotation as far as the officials go: a base guy and a plate guy. And the catches, the catcher for Brockton, he's fight up. That's our uh, Armini Larusso, and we are underway. So. I was talking a little bit to the Cardinal Spellman's coach who's on third base. Sean, he wouldn't give me his last name. He must own the, he must own the government money. <laughs> <laughs> but he's an, actually an Abington guy that played minor league ball. All right, so here we go. Here's the first pitch. One away, ball high, high and away to the left-handed to the left-handed batter, excuse me, the right-handed batter, Kelly. And he'll be playing shortstop today, Miles, for yeah. the Cardinals. There you go. All right, now it's official. Now it's a ball game. One ball, one strike. Yeah, that, that one right there, that was just inside. Just caught the corner of the plate. Nice pitch by Hopkins. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That's high and away. Yeah, starting early, uh, Hopkins has been a little high on his balls. But, um, you know, it's just that it's a little chilly out here today. It is. So it's he's got to warm up. It's keeping me up. <laughs> Here's the two one from Hopkins. That gets away from you. You can see the ball and is it late delivery? Yeah, definitely got away from him there, Ron Dom. Three and one. Crowd starting to fill in here at Campanelli. Slowly but surely. Comes back with a nice outside pitch with that fastball to run the count full of three and two. Yeah, that was the same pitch he threw for that first strike. Um just outside, painting the corner of the plate. Here's the 3 2. Ooh. That's low. So he walks. He starts the game with a walk to Kelly. Yeah, that was a tough pitch right there. That'll bring up the catcher, Mardelli. One thing Coach Sean told me about, the, about his Cardinals is that. He has one through five is very strong. That's called strike inside. Wow. That ball looked like had a little curve on it. It did. It broke late. Broke inside late to that the right-handed batter, batter, excuse me, Mardelli. Hopkins sets a little bit of a lead at first for Kelly. High and away. That'll run the count even one and one. One ball, one strike. Nobody out, one on here in the top of the first. We'd like to welcome everybody watching in the greater Brockton area on BCA TV on the YouTube channel. There's a quick throw back. Goes back, slides under safe. It's a nice move by that kid. I was getting ready to say that, uh, Dom. Hopkins had a nice move to, first, to uh, first base. Almost caught the man. All right, Hopkins sets. Out of the stretch, here's a pitch, and it's popped up. Down the first baseline, going foul. And, oh, just out of the reach of the first baseman, Frost. Nice try. 
I know he probably saw that fence get closer and closer to his peripheral vision. Yeah, good try by the first baseman there, Frost. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, that's Chris Frost, sorry. Couldn't quite. He didn't get off that. Um, once that ball was hit, he didn't get off get off there quick enough because he just was just out of his out, outstretched uh, arms there. But but nice attempt, as you said. Absolutely. I would have stopped it first. I don't think I would have stopped that ball. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the one-two. On the hit and run. It only plays first, and they get him. That's six to three if you're scoring back at home for the first out. Yeah, that was a nice play by the shortstop there. That is, Gent uh, I want to say, Genitazzo. Genitazzo. Nick, if I am butchering your name, I did it first. It wasn't Miles. Well, nice play by Nick because he was smart enough to see that the uh, runner was just about at second base. So get the sure out at uh, first base. So spec. Uh, the first baseman, big first baseman, he steps up. Runner in scoring position for the Cardinals with one out. Here's Hopkins' pitch, and that's popped up. Looks like it's going to front out. Right field of there. Great play. And he'll hold the runner. Great catch by Ino uh, Inosco, Brady Anasco for the boxers. Yeah, nice play by Anasco. He had to run quite a bit from his position out there in right field. Just about, say, 10 feet away from the um, infield, but nice hustle by the right fielder. So the left-handed stick, excuse me, Buckley, the third baseman, steps in. Two out, one on. That's outside. That could have been a pitch out. Yeah, I, I think that was the plan there because the, um, the catcher was ready. I think they were trying to catch that run of sleep over there at uh, Absolutely. first. Absolutely. Seeing if he's going to try something silly doesn't have that big of a lead. I mean, Kelly does have a lead. Not much, though. Over at second base for the Cardinals. Here's the 1-0. That's definitely a way. Yeah, nice, nice stop there by the first, uh, catcher. Keep that ball from going to the backstop. Yes, sir. Keep that runner on second. Great job by LaRusso. That was definitely not a pitch out. <laughs> he lost that ball coming out of his hand. Here's the pitch. Oh, that was high heat. Nice. Jammed him inside. Yes. I believe that runs count to two and one. Two balls, one strike. One on, two out, top of the first. That's inside out. He got handcuffed going back. Shortstop takes it. That ends the inning. After a half inning, we have no score. I don't know. Oh, we can't step away. We own it. Well, I tell you, that was great communication between the second baseman and the third baseman. Second baseman had a better chance at it. He called off the third baseman and made a nice play there. What I did notice about Hopkins in that first inning, he looked pretty good any time that uh, Connell Spellman put any contact on the um, ball. It, they didn't get good contact. Absolutely. Uh, which pop flies, uh, grounders. So Hopkins looked pretty good in that first inning. So that is a fly out to six. If you're scoring back at home and the Cardinals lead them, lead one guy stranded. And that was their number one, two, three, four. That was their fourth hitter. For your boxers, we're going to go with O'Brien LaRusso. And I'll say this again. I'm sorry, Jackson O'Brien. He's, he's playing center field leadoff. Omari LaRusso, the catcher, number one in the second spot. In your third spot, number eight, Brady and not. And Nasco, the right fielder. The pitcher, Dominic Hopkins, he'll, he's going to bat fourth, number 10. Number three, Sammy um, Balti, the left fielder, Sammy. If I'm pronouncing your name wrong, I, I apologize. Number, uh, the next spot, number nine, Reese Little, the second baseman. Number 12, Nick Genetasso, who just made that great out in the shortstop to end, playing sh to end the inning. Number 42, I love that number. 42, Antoine Millis is the designated hitter, number 11. Brady Foreman's your third baseman. Your first baseman, number 21, Chris Frost, and that is your starting lineup for the boxers. And on the hill is uh, Botetti. I hope I'm pronouncing that man's that young man's name, the big left fielder, the big left hander, excuse me, for the for Cardinal Spellman. And you know what I just realized? They still don't give me any numbers. This is what I this is what I got. Botetti? B Botetti. It looks like Botetti. B O U T I E T T E. Okay. 
And then the Bach is Brockton and Faithful that's starting to come in. That's good to see. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a little chilly this afternoon, but you definitely got the Brockton fans, probably a few Cardinal Spelman fans showing up here for the game this afternoon. Absolutely. It'd be nice if we had that sun shining a little bit, but it's a very cloudy day out here. All right, so here comes Jackson O'Brien, the big right-handed stick for the boxers. Watch him get out there and go left hand or prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 56 and, and uh, gloomy out here today. But it's better than, say, 46. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, in New England, you just never know what you're going to get in the you spring. You know what? That's the only job. I say that, I think I told you this a couple of years ago. That's the only job you can still hold, you, can, you can't get fired from. When's the last time you seen a weatherman get fired? Never, ever. Right? If anything, they get a raise. They <laughs> get a raise. <laughs> well, they get their bet. I want to go in days. All right. All right, so here we go. Bottom of the first. And here come the boxers. And here's Bonetti's first pitch. And that's hit down the third baseline fair. Yes, yeah, sweet. And it'll get trapped in the tarp, and I believe they're going to kill it. Designate, it'll be, it should be a ground rule double, it is. Yes, it is. That ball was six inches away from that bag down the third base line. Unbelievable. Yeah. Great contact. Yeah, that was smoked, right, like you said, right down there on the um, third base line. Umpire was right on it. That ball was hanging, he, cr he turned on that ball. That'll bring up LaRusso, the catcher. In the second spot, another big right-handed bat for the boxers. Swings and misses. He looked like he kind of thought about it. It wasn't a, a complete swing, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? I yeah. hope that, you know, like he stopped his swing almost. Bonetti up on him, 0-1. Here's the 0-1. And that's fouled off, jammed him on that one. Nice pitch by Bonetti. Oh, he's ahead 0-2. Yeah, you know, you got to remember, these are high school kids out here, and after one of his teammates gets a hit, he gets up there, he wants to get a hit. He and he starts swinging. Now he looks at a second. Here's the 0-2. And that's hit in the center field. Center field takes it, no problem. We'll tag. And he's going to go. He's going to fake it. And he has to slide back under, and he is safe. He thought about it. He sure did. I was shocked that he went a few more steps. I, th I think he thought about testing the center field's arm, but for some reason he decided not to. Absolutely. So that's a fly out to eight. F8 is the official uh, ruling. Yeah, with that other bring up Nasco, the right field, the Brady and Nasco in the third spot. He steps in, one out, one on. Boxer truck. Box is trying to jump on the big left hander early here. Here's the pitch, and that's. That's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. Right fielder going over. He makes Ooh. the play. Holds on. He holds on the ball as that was, um, I believe, that's the designated hitter. With two outs. It's a fly out to F9 for the second out. Boxes don't want to. Here comes Dominic Hopkins. Let's see if Dominic can help out his own cause. Yeah, that, I thought that ball went a little bit. I was going to be a little bit shorter and drop right in front of the right fielder, but he played it exactly the way he should have played it. He came up with an out. Hopkins takes strike one. Two out, one on. Here in the bottom of the first, no score. As Hopkins sets, here's Vanetti's pitch. That's outside. Yep, just outside. Good eye by Hopkins. So the designated hitter is a right fielder. Here's a pitch. It's in the dirt. Two balls, one strike, I believe. Yeah, that was low. A little bit outside, but... Nice eye by Hopkins. I'll tell you, I thought Kelly was going to get picked off. He initially was going to go. They were going to test the end, but Spellman got that ball in so quick. That's in the dirt, three and one. Three balls, one strike. And the big left hand is not happy with his delivery on that one. And after him, if Hopkins will see Balti 
the left the left fielder. Here, I believe this should be the three one. Inside it is. Hey, I got one right here. We go. <laughs> so pace on balls. So you got you have O'Brien at for I'm sorry Hopkins at first O'Brien at second yes. two out two on and Sammy Balti the left fielder number three another athletic right-handed stick for the boxers and that's hit in oh. the left field base hit O'Brien will turn he will score. And the boxes are on the board first, one nothing. Yeah, nice job, but nice base running there by O'Brien. He looked at his third base coach, and his third base coach said, go for it. And uh, he came in and didn't even have to slide. Nice play. Nice, nice uh, RBI by uh, Balti. Yes, so that'll bring up Little, Reese Little, the second baseman. Let's see what he can do here. Another big right-handed stick. As Bonetti sets, that was hard. That was just out of reach of the third baseman. That's hit down the third baseline base hit, turning and scoring is Hopkins, and the boxes are on the board again, two nothing. Yeah, nice job there. Right now, in this first inning, the boxes are taking advantage of those inside pitches and putting it right down the third base line. Third baseman didn't have a chance on that one. Well, the poor guy at third. I'm, I'm not making an excuse, but you can see. Um, Buckley, he's leaning right, he's leaning left, he's getting caught off. He's, yes. he's trying to make his best judgment, and right now the boxes are up 2 nothing. Yeah, if I was him, I'd take a step towards third base because that's a hot spot right now for the boxes. All right, so here we go. Doing it all with two outs. Yeah, that's Let's a good sign right that. there, yeah. Absolutely. Boteri well, sets, here's the pitch. Called strike right there at the corner. Bell tie. Nice pitch on the curveball. Yes, indeed. He sets quick. Looks at first. Doesn't look at second. And then he throws the first. Woo! I think he kind of missed the tag a little bit, but that was very close. He's going to ask. He's going to ask for a little help if you got him on the tag. Here comes Sean. They're going to ask for a little help to see if they got him leaning the wrong way. They're going to see if they got little. That's what they're trying to prove here. All it can be in an ex -um, being an umpire, I shouldn't say ex umpire. He's going to say, Did you have a better angle? Did you see him tag him with the glove in his hand? Right. Nope, safe. he's safe. Well, nice job by the umpires to talk it over first. Make sure they got it right. You can see the coach of uh, Cardinal Spellman just checking. Yeah, he's just checking. He's not happy. He believes this guy did pick him off. And I'll be honest, from our view, the kid made a great scoop at first. He did. And, I mean, yeah, you're right. From our view, it looked like he could have got him. But our angle isn't a good angle. There's a ball hit to short. All across the diamond. That ends the inning. After one, your score, boxers two. Cardinal Spellman, nothing. Well, one good thing out of that bottom of the first was Brockton connected with the ball quite a bit, even if it was a foul out of – nobody, I don't think, got struck out. Everybody no. connected with that uh, baseball oh, with absolutely. their bat. So that was a good sign. They're seeing the ball well so far. Absolutely. For the Cardinals, we'll see Mastrani, the pitcher, uh, Batetti, Skorumski, I can't put these names, <laughs> and um, I want to make sure I get this gentleman's name. I can't read my own writing. That's a great job, Tom. Uh, um, Catton, those are your next four batters for the Cardinals. Again, the Cardinals coming up a very young season here. You know what I noticed is that um, well, I shouldn't say that because the coach, uh, as far as wearing a helmet, like in Bay Ruth, when I do the Bay Ruth games back in you know in the area mm -hmm. I do it in, um, they want the coaches to wear helmets when they're coaching, and if the kids are out there, they're gonna wear a wear a helmet. It, so I I don't know, I just don't. Wait, I, you saying the third base coach, first third base, base coach, coach, yeah, really, yeah. 
All right, so here we go. As you get ready to give you the top of the second, he's Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano, along with Mike the Postman Simmons, producer and director of this Brockton Boxer broadcast as the Boxers host inner town rival on Court Street, the Cardinals from Cardinal Spellman. So we got the Cardinals going up against the Boxers. Here's the pitch. I just had a bad joke. I had to keep that to myself. <laughs> That's low and away and run away in the top of the second. Typical spring baseball, you know, season from Mass. Chilly and chilly like always. Here's the pitch. And that's popped up. That might stay in the ball pack. Going back is a LaRusso trying to make a play. That's out of a good hustle by the catcher. Yeah. And who, is, who is the catcher? Uh, that is Amani LaRusso, if I'm yeah. pronouncing that gentleman's name right. Yeah, a lot of flexibility back there at catching, I can see so far early in this ball game. He's taken out of the dirt some pictures that might have went to the backstop. They had a man on second, Cardinal Spellman, and uh, that ball's, he did a nice nice did. job keeping that ball from going to the backstop because the man could have went to third base. The 1-1 one, one high and inside that will run the count to 2-1. Two, two balls, one strike. Nobody out again just underway here in the top of the second inning. 2 nothing boxers. He sets. Here's the 2-1. Ooh, foul back. Now, what I notice about high school games compared to pro games, if that was a pro game and he tipped, he fouled it off, they would have threw that ball out, you know. Well, I'm going to tell you, ball. It's fun, you know, it's funny you said that. I'm going to tell you about the... Uh, Tell you about when I was in the world umpiring the World Series last year, and in district play. Call time. Excuse me. Two balls, two strikes. Again, nobody out. Here in the top of the second. So when you're doing a when you're doing a uh, Cal Ripken tournament, it's like little like same age group 9, 10, 11, 12, you know all that. We are told by the state administrator when because like when we do our games down you know south of Brockton. Uh, people already know where I live anyway, so I should just play away. <laughs> um, the rule is, if that ball hits like it hits hit there, like we just saw the foul ball, or hits any metal part, what you do is you, throw the, you check the ball before you get back to the pitcher. Okay. If the ball's cut or takes a divot from the fence, you right. throw the ball out of the game. Okay. And especially in the World Series. Makes sense. Ball four. And they started off, Miles, here in the second with a base on balls. Good patient by, um, excuse me, good patient by Mastrani. Yeah, uh, Dominic Hopkins let that batter get away from him. There wasn't many good pitches there. All right, here we go. Pitcher against pitcher. Now here's a pitching right hander that's outside, ball one. LaRusso tried to frame that. He knew he couldn't really frame it that good. That ball was right there, fastball missing. All right, so now with nobody out, the Cardinals are going to try to uh, see if they can help their cause. Here's the one. Oh, right, comes back Ooh. with a nice inside fastball. Yeah, right across the plate. Great job by, great comeback there. Yeah. He jammed him so he scared him off the plate. I agree. Say Hopkins froze, his, froze the batter and got the strike delivered. What a great job. Here's a 1-1 one, one in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher. That'll run the ball count to two and one. Yeah, that was across the plate. It was just too low. Better bring that up. All right, so he sets. Now he sets. Called that little early. Here's a two one. That's outside. Three balls, one strike, one on nobody out. And you don't have to tell Dominic Hopkins much. His body is telling you right now he yes. is not finding his groove. The only one that can fix that is Dominic Hopkins. Yeah, big pitch right here for the big guy. He steps off, good job. Stepped off with his foot, became a fielder. A lot of chatter coming from Cardinal Spellman's bench. Trying to get something going here. Absolutely. Big left-handed batter. I believe this is the 3-1. And it is. So he walks the next two batters, Miles. So now we got 
first and second, which you already know, nobody out. And let's see what Brennan does. That will bring up um, Scaponzi. Scaponzi, I hope I'm pronouncing your name after. He is listed as a designated hitter today for the Cardinals. Yeah, this puts a lot of pressure on Brockton's starting pitcher with two men on and no outs. Called strike. So defensively, the boxes have brought in the first baseman. Chris Frost is on the inside grass, as you can see. They might try to, they're thinking maybe sacrifice? Possibly. To bring him, to put the, make it second there. Swung and miss, nice pitch. We got him swinging away there. It's almost like he said, why didn't I do that to the last two batters? He looks in. He sets. Looks at second. Here's the fastball. That's the Ooh. same pitch. That is wow. the same pitch. That was close. That was close. All right, I'm going to bite my tongue now. <laughs> that was the same pitch. That was the same fastball. That was almost exactly the same location as what I should have said. All right, so he's behind. I believe he's behind three and one. He looks over at second. Hopkins pitch. Fouled off. And we're out of play. Nice job, Hopkins, giving the batter something to hit at. Yep. All right. He sets. Here's the pitch. And that's a floater. Coming in as a left fielder. Makes the play. Great job by Baletti. Yeah. Definitely. By Balti, excuse me. That makes the play for the first out. Yeah, once that ball made contact, Baletti, the left fielder, was right on it. Charged, uh, charged towards the ball and made a nice play. That'll bring up Cat in the second baseman. One out, two on. Hopkins would definitely like to get out of this little jammy he knows he got himself exactly. into. Exactly. He looks in. It wasn't the Cardinals hitting that got two men on. They smartly made him pitch. And he Ooh, that was called good. strike yeah. right there at the knees on the outside corner run here with two out, two on. Excuse me, one out, two on. He sets, he looks over, steps off, throws a second, Ooh. just under the tag. That was thrown perfectly. You couldn't throw that ball any better. No, you couldn't. Right there, down low, so the um, second baseman can make the tag. Yeah. He just got back. If I'm throwing that ball, it's going to left field. <laughs> <laughs> Hop, hoppy sets, here's the pitch, shows bunt. That was a gift that right there. That was weird. Did that, oh, I see. It took a hard, from our angle, so that ball took a hard bounce. It went LaRusso, off the glove of LaRusso. Of LaRusso. Yeah. yeah. All right, that'll load him up. Yeah, the, when, he, when it was bunted, it had a spin on it, so LaRusso couldn't get a good, get, his, get the ball in the mitt to make the play to first. Oh, boy. All right, so here we go. Base is loaded. The, the good thing about the box is they can go any way they, oh. Wait, did the man score? I don't oh, know. no, they called him out. That ball hit him. That, he oh, caught, okay. He, that, he came out of the box. That ball, he's out. Okay, very good. So what happened is, because what happens, he, he hit the ball fair and ran into his own ball, so he's out. He's out, that's right. Sorry about that, folks. Well, at least you saw that guy. Where's, where's the third baseman? I mean, the runner on third. Okay, there we go. There's a ball hit at one, over the diamond. Oh, nice stretch. And they get him. You know what? I apologize for that. You know what happened? They called that a foul ball. He grounded out. He grounded out, yeah. I'm sorry. So he grounded out. Then they went five to three on the double play to end the inning. That's five to three if you're scoring back at home. We got everybody confused. I got to shut my mouth because I'm telling you. All right. So that is an after one and a half. Your score, Brockton, two boxers, nothing. Well, it, it's early, but Hopkins showed a lot of poise up the, out there on the mound he put himself in, a, in his own predicament with two men on nobody out and somehow pitched his way out of that inning for a run no runs he did nice play by the third baseman foreman taking that for the boxes two up for the boxes mound you're gonna have mill mill is the d is dh and mills is dh and foreman is up second followed by frost then after that, we get to the top of the order. Yeah. Now, as far as Cardinals Spellman, the Cardinals, looking at that last inning when they had two men on, golden opportunity 
yep. missed, missed right there. And I'm sure the, um, the manager knows that that was a golden opportunity for um, them to get at least one run in yep. with, with nobody out, two men on, and um, come up with nothing. But, again, give a lot of credit to Hopkins. Yep. To, um, Absolutely. Hold down the fort. Hold down the fort, concentrate, and uh, keep any runs from coming across the plate. All right, so here we go as we get ready to give you the bottom of the second. And I apologize. I was looking at my book, and I was ready to mark the out, and I said, well, he must have hit the ball foul. He must have, he must, he, I, first I thought it was a foul ball, then I said, oh, he must have hit the ball. Then I'm like, oh, it's first and second. Then I said, oh, he had to foul the ball off. He, so, so LaRusso cut that ball foul. They put him back up. Then he hit that hot shot to third, which made the force from five to three. So now, now, I, now, I, now I can say I almost have all my marbles back in my hand. And, and just one more thing, Dom, again, on that play there that kind of fooled a lot of folks. He fouled the ball. The ball hit him when he left the batter's box? I think it hit him prior to him leaving the box. If he's in the lines and that's a fair ball, he's yeah, out. He's out. The oh. ball's dead. There was still only one out, so he obviously fouled the ball when LaRusso grabbed the ball foul right. prior to him stepping out of the box. So then they put him back up, then he hit that hot shot to third. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, so here we go as we give you the bottom of the second. And Antoine Mills, this guy is a beast. Is this our first baseman? This is our first baseman. Well, the beast, he can stretch. No, he's a designated. I'm oh, sorry, excuse designated me. Hitter. I agree to say, that first baseman, whoever it is for um, the boxes. That's Frost, Chris Frost. Chris Frost did an excellent job stretching for that ball before the uh, runner got to that first base. Absolutely. All right, so here we go, bottom of the second. That's high and away, run away, ball one. Yeah, if I was stretching, I would be talking like this right now as we go. <laughs> <laughs> now Mills, Mills is it? Mills. It Mills looks yep. like he can uh, hit the ball. He's he, got a lot of, got a lot of. Uh, inside ball two. Uh, he, if you watch his mannerisms in the box, he is ready to go. Yeah, he looks like a Kirby Puckett type. Yeah. Ball player, you know. Here's the Very two. stocky. Takes a strike. Smartly. He made uh, Batetti there work for those last pitches. Two balls, one strike. Just underway in the second with nobody on, nobody out. Here's the pitch by the Cardinals pitcher. And that's fouled off. And that'll go foul. We'll do it all again with a 2-2 count. Who was the third baseman we had? I think for a year, he came from Pittsburgh. Uh, Brady Foreman. No. What are you talking about? L Latino. Oh, for the Red Sox. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the game. I'm like, oh, good job paying attention, yeah. Don. Here's the two-two, high and away, three-two. Remember they, it, Terry Pendleton? Pendleton. Yeah. Yes. He reminded me of Terry Pendleton a little bit. Oh uh, boy, we're calling a game and telling jokes. And he's got Mo Vaughn's number. He does. And. Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson, right? yes, indeed. Oh, oh, line drive taken by the first base, by the third baseman for the first out. That is a line out to five if you're scoring back at home. You know, and he didn't even get all the bat on that ball. He didn't. He got just enough for it to go straight, but if he could have got all that ball, that would have been definitely a single. Here comes Brady Foreman. The big right-handed sick wide stance in the box. Swan and missed. Nice breaking ball of changeup, if you will, by the Cardinals pitcher. He's ahead 0-1. Here's the pitch. Away. One ball, one strike, one out. I thought that ball was going to left field for a minute. That broke yeah, for a second there, me too. He just didn't get quite all the bat on the ball. All right, here's the 1-1. One, one. Swan and missed. Do the same pitch that they swung and missed the second, the first yeah, time. Yeah, that, that kind of fooled them there. That's a great, nice pitch. That was a nice pitch. All right, here we go. One ball, two strikes. One out again. Nobody on top of the second. And Botetti sets and fires. Here's the pitch. It's away. That'll leave it up at two and two. He's Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano. And 
The man, the Mike, the postman Simmons is the producer and director of today's BCA TV high school broadcast, the high school baseball here from Campanelli. Here's the 2-2. In the dirt. Smiley laid off, laid off that one. 3-2. Yep. and two. All right, he sets. Foreman has battled to a full count. Here's the pitch. A low and outside. Yep, good eye. It'll bring up Chris Frost. There's, no, I'm sorry, O'Brien, top of the order. Who did I miss? I missed somebody. So one out, one on. He'll bring up Jackson O'Brien, who scored in the first. After walking, throws over. That can be deception. That could possibly be a deception. That could possibly be a balk. If he, if he does that and he goes to the plate, that's definitely, that definitely has to be called a balk. Because he's pausing before he releases the ball. Going right. Up. At least that's what I think. Maybe I'm too much of a homer, but that looks deceiving. Like he's holding his leg up. That's outside. 1-0. I always thought in high school baseball, the pitcher, because he's still learning, he's still developing, don't even worry about the, um, the runner on first. Just, just concentrate on throwing strikes. Here's the pitch. That swung on, hit the third. Oh, that's bobbled by the third baseman across the diamond. He doesn't get him going to third. They might have him. He is safe on the play. Great job. Great running there, but because of the first baseman, wasn't a good throw. It was off a third going towards the dugout and it enabled the, um, the runner to slide in there nicely for, uh, for, um, to be safe. We're gonna, have a, we're gonna have a pinch runner, nope. Now we have LaRusso up. Flew out to center field for the first out in the inning. So Brockton's got something going here in the uh, bottom of the second. Absolutely, first one out, two on, first and third. He has the pitch, high and inside, and taken off uncontested is O'Brien. And right there is, I believe that's Brady Foreman at third base, oh, yeah, it should be Brady Foreman. I'm not sure there was a lot of communication between the catcher and the Oh, I know what he did. Second Son baseman. of a gun, he's only batting <laughs> nine. That popped up out of play. I had uh, I had um, Chris Frost as a, as in the tenth spot. He's only batting nine, so I apologize. So that is I got Foreman right. I should have crossed okay. out. Chris Frost is not hitting. The first baseman's not hitting. They're going to use a designated hit, hitter, Mills. All right. So on the delayed steal, I should say not the delayed steal. On the steal, it's second and third for the boxes. Nice. Hit in the left field, base hit. Nice. One run will score. Another run. Turning and score a two RBI single for the catcher LaRusso and the boxers take a four nothing lead. Yeah, nice contact. Kept his eye on the ball, made great contact and put it where he needed to put it. And the boxers get a couple more runs. With a nice two out R two RBI single. Nice hitting. He just went with the pitch and yep. Took it in uh, basically center field. And that'll bring up uh, Anushka, who flew out to right field for the second out. His first time up, swing and miss. Foul ball, I'm sorry. He definitely swung and missed, but he fouled it off yeah. at the same time. <laughs> he was swinging hard, too. He was. See, as I look at the lineup card, he put the kid there. Oh. So I'm thinking, but and then I'm like, oh, maybe he missed the 10th spot. But he skipped one. I got you. Yeah, you got me too. Here's a pitch. <laughs> Fouled off 0-2. I'm like, why is that kid batting? Oh, that's right. Okay. I'll tell you. No one can get in their own way worse than me. Here we go. I, I tell you, I'm, I'm just showing my age. Anusko's wearing number eight. We've got a couple of uh, Hall of Famers. Kyle Yastrzemski yep. for the Boston Red Sox and Willie Stargell for oh. the Pittsburgh Pirates. There's a ball Ooh, hitting nice. the left field. It'll fall in for a hit. 
And just like that, first and second, two on. Yeah, nice connection there. He hit it hard where the um, left fielder could, didn't have enough time to run in and get that ball. He did the smart thing, just holding up. So, Because if he tried to get that and he didn't, that's a possibility <laughs> inside the park. If that ball goes by, by him, absolutely, yes. absolutely, absolutely. Good job by the left fielder. That's um, Mastrani who knocked the ball down. Right, made the right decision. Yep, kept the ball in front, in front of him. Of him. Exactly. Yeah. All right, here comes pitches. The pitch and duel again. This time it's Dominic Hopkins who, sing, who um, walked and scored his lap first time up in the first inning. Odetti looking. Here's the pitch. In the dirt ball, one. Fox is looking to improve to three and one in a very young season. Game four for them. This is actually game six for the Cardinals. Here's the pitch. That's low two and zero. Oh, we got a little sun. Yeah, for a few moments. <laughs> <laughs> two balls, no strikes. Two on, one out. Here in the bottom of the second. I believe the Varsity Girls softball is uh, playing right behind us. Here's the pitch. And that's hit down the first baseline. That is going foul. Excellent effort by the right field to get over there trying to make a play. I tell you, all the Brockton batters are making contact with that baseball. He looks, he sets. Here's the pitch. And that's hit in the center. Center field goes back. Makes the play. They could get him on the, they could get him at second, but sliding under safely, going back. That was miscommunication there that by was. the defense. I'm not sure what happened. I thought it looked like our Brockton boxer runner was, was a dead duck right there, he but he did a nice job getting back there, and Cardinal Spellman did not do a nice job communicating it to get that ball back to second base for the out. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately it does happen, you, you know that. All right, with two on, two out in the second. That's down the dribble off the end of the bat. And you know what? Um, Balti, Sam, Sammy Balti, the left fielder, who singled his last time up. He would love to get that back right now. Sure. He gets that bat middle in, on the bat middle in. I bet he's hitting that, roping that down the first baseline. Here's the old one. Swung on the Oh, nice pitch. Got Back him. to second. He Great was... job by the catcher, firing yeah. it down there. Uh, Mardelli, he threw a strike. And I believe the set play was for the shortstop to come in and tag the base runner. Just. A little bit out of the reach of the shortstop. Stop, yeah, it, I did believe it hit the Brockton runner. It did. I think they were going to try call uh, interference on the base runner, but the base runner was going back. He did. There was no um, malicious intent right. to interfere. That's fouled, and we'll do it all again. All right, two on, two out, four nothing boxes. Here in the bottom of the second. Trying to add to their lead. They did a two-out rally in the first. Here's the hit and run. Swung and missed. That ends in. He gets him with the K. After two, your score, Brockton four. Cardinal Spellman, nothing. Another inning for the boxes where they were definitely connecting their bats to that baseball, and it got them a few more runs here in the bottom of the second. Absolutely. But nice job connecting, keeping their eye on the ball and um, – Putting it out there for play, into play. Absolutely. Let me make sure I get my numbers right. Well, doesn't matter because they get. I didn't get any numbers from. Uh, this should be Hemmings. I believe I have Hemmings coming up. The left fielder, excuse me, the center fielder for Cardinal Spellman. Coach Sean over there at 
at the Cardinals. He's having a little pep talk with him. He said, guys, you know, we're only yeah. down 4 nothing. We're right in this game. Let's just start hitting the ball. That's it. You know? Very simple equation. Absolutely. Oh, excuse me. And um, as far as uh, Hopkins, he's doing a great job throwing the ball right now. Uh, if if they if Cardinal Spelman does put it in the play, it's usually to somebody out there in the out in the um, field of play to make the play. Absolutely. So right now he's doing his job as a pitcher. All right, so here we go. I believe it's going to be 9-1-2 and two for Cardinal Spellman coming up. All right, so here we go. We're going to start the top of the third inning. Dominic Hopkins, his third inning at work, starting right now. Let's see how he starts it off. That's away, ball one, and we're underway in the third. He sets the 1 0. Ooh. Swung and missed with the high heat. High heat there. Nice pitch. Here we go, the 1-1. One, one. I heard the umpire that time. That's a way. Yep, tried to fool him there. Thought he could get him to swing outside, but he stand, stood the course. Didn't swing that bat. All right, Hop, Hop, Hopkins sets, excuse me. Takes the sign from LaRusso. Here's the... The one. Ooh, nice nice pitch. pitch. Froze him. He did one and two. The big right hand that froze the batter on that pitch. Inside. All right, here we go. Looking for his first K of the game. Fouls it off. Down the first baseline. Foul. And I believe we'll do it all again with a 1-2 count, if I counted correctly. LaRusso's just playing a juggle on that, <laughs> trying to get that foul ball. You saw that, too. Just having fun with it. Absolutely. Here's the pitch in the dirt. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody on, just on the way here in the first. And, of course, nobody out. There he is working out of the stretch. That's fouled off, and we officially have a battle going on. Hopkins sets. Shakes off one, shakes another one off. He's shaking another pitch off, it looks like. Here's the pitch. And that'll walk him, I missed the pitch. That was ball four. So they lead, start off this inning again, Miles, with another yep. walk. Yes. They have started each inning with a walk. They have let off each inning with a walk, I'm sorry. And the big righty has somehow gotten out of each inning out of those jams. Now here's Kelly, quick back, ooh. Quick throw back and just under the tag is Hemmings. That was a nice job getting that ball over to first base. He did, that was, that was a good, that was an excellent, good movement. Here's a pitch, that's outside. Hopkins sets. Here's the pitch. Ooh, called good. strike. Throwback to first from LaRusso. 
That got away from him a little bit, but the second baseman right there to help out. Yep, and as Little went over short, to help out. Short stop went right over to second base. Yep. Because if he didn't, it, that would just tempt that base runner to go ahead and go to second because there's nobody there. Hopkins now, of course, working out of the stretch, takes a peek over at first. Here's the pitch, and that's hit foul down the third baseline. And again, Hopkins keeps the Cardinals from getting good, good um, wood on the bat, on Absolutely. the ball, because they really haven't hit anything solid. No, not yet. Not, absolutely not in this game. Not so far through three. Quick throw back. He slides under there safe. Fooled me. I looked over to say hi to you. And he yeah. ball first. <laughs> Got to pay attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, Hopkins has a great pitch out. Excuse me, not pitch out, but pitch over to first. Yeah, down the third baseline. Third baseman goes over. He has a play. Oh, he oh! had the ball. Great uh, try. Oh, baby. Excellent effort. Brady Foreman with an extra. A great try. He had the basket, the biscuit in the basket. It's more of a hockey analogy. But had the, yeah. had the ball and the, and the fence said, nope, not today. I'm just glad he's okay. Yeah. Gee, once he hit, once it, and the fence is waist high. So his, his upper body went right over. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that was dangerous. Uh, play but good outcome that was a great hustle by that young yeah, man excellent hustle Hopkins fires they could get two nope over to one they definitely got another. oh the scoop gets away from the first baseman nice. that gets by Frost nice backup by the catcher good job by LaRusso was for, for, uh, forcing Dominic Hopkins to go down to first uh, Hoppy not happy so now it's first and third yeah, that was a tough play by the shortstop. He came charging in. He, it was a nice job getting the ball in his glove, but he was still moving and had to um, throw it over there really hard. And that was a tough play. That was very tough. Nice. I mean, Frost, Chris Frost did the best he could he to could. scoop it. He had to dig it out of the dirt. One of those bang, bang plays. That will be considered an error, unfortunately, on the shortstop. Hoppy sets, looks over third, back to first. He's already has a great pickoff move back to first. I, I, I tell you, um, Connell Spellman better be on the ball over there first base because, like you just said, he's got an excellent pickoff move. He sets, fires, and that's popped up. Sec Little comes in, makes the play. So that is a flyout. That's an F4. And I believe that is your first out. It is your first out here in the top of the third. First and third now with one out. Good job by Hopkins, Jim, in that very yeah. dangerous bat. And as, as I said that, here comes Speck, who flew out to right field, right field for the second out in the first inning. His last time up. Inside, ball one. LaRusso did everything in his power to try to frame that pitch and bring it in. Here's the one off. Quick blow back to first. I haven't seen that in a long time where the field gets, where the runner gets, gets up there real fast and yeah. the pitcher throws the ball right back to first. That's dangerous, the guy inside. Ooh. Inside high, high. Inside. Yeah. two and zero. That yeah, that's very high. All right, here we go. He sets first and third. Let's see if the runner goes. Called strike. Ooh, nice strike. Nice pitch. Two balls, one strike, one out. First and third. Cardinals just trying to get themselves on the ball. There's a quick throw. Between um, Hopkins and the first baseman. First baseman, once he get that, once he gets the ball, he has a nice swing. He does to the um, to the runner to get him out. Yeah, Frost does that really well. Frost, good. yes. Here's the pitch that's fouled off. I don't know. I'm guessing they are keeping somewhat of a pitch count. 
he has thrown quite a few pitches through three innings. And if we had like, um, you know, eight interns like they have in the Red Sox game, they would have already told us that stat. <laughs> Here's the pitch. I hit the shortstop. Oh, it gets him, takes a bad bounce away from the shortstop in the left center field for a base hit, and the Cardinals are finally on the board, and it's now 4-1. Yeah, that was that was hit hard. First ball that was really hit hard for the uh, Cardinals. And it was just a tough play for the shortstop. He stopped it, but uh, couldn't quite. It just got past him and dribbled out there into the short field. Yep. And this should be Buckley, who flew out to the center field to end the first inning for the Cardinals. That's a way ball one. One ball. First and second, only one out. And the Cardinals are on the board again. It's 4-1. Boxers. Here's the pitch. Ooh, got him chased the high stuff. Yeah, had him fooled there. Chasing high heat. He sets. Here's the pitch. Ooh. Foul ball. Ooh, and that kind of, yeah. yeah that right off his foot. Ouch. Yeah. And he'll shake that off. Yep. He will. So Hopkins ahead with two strike. I believe it's one and two. Again, out of the stretch with one out and two on. Here in the third. Here's the pitch. And that's popped. That should be up. That's center field. Center field takes it all the way. Throws a bullet back into the infield for the second out. That's an F to F8 for the second out. So with two outs, Manastrani steps out. He walked his first time up, Miles, mm -hmm. in the first inning. It's going to be interesting to see if they're going to let him swing away or try to get... Uh, Hopkins to walk him. Hopkins sets, looks over at second, and he fires. Ooh, that was like pitch. a good pitch. Like a curveball there for a minute. He's ahead 0 1. Hopkins looks in. He shakes off a lot of signs. Is the 0 1. And that's it. In the right field for Basic, turning and scoring. A play to the plate. He slides under safe. The runners are moving over. And now it's second and third. Another run in. Tell you what, that was a good throw by the right fielder to get it at home. If he could have got it up, it could have stayed up a little bit. There's always that chance of the um, LaRusso tagging him out at home. So now it is four two boxers. But I tell you that that was a the batter put it perfectly right there in short right to get a man home. And here's the I believe this should be the pitcher it should be Batetti, who walked his first time up. Yeah, he didn't have a chance on that one. He threw it right by the batter. That's high and away. One ball, one strike, two out. The Cardinals have scored two here in the third. In the dirt, nice block by LaRusso. LaRusso, very athletic type catcher. Behind the plate for the uh, boxes. All right, Hopkins resets. One ball, one strike, second and third, two out, two in for the Cardinals again. He steps off smartly. And of course, now he knows he can work back out of the windup because uh, guy's at third base. Woo! And get to high heat again. Yeah, got him fooled. All right, he's ahead. I believe he should be ahead. One and two. 
nice K would definitely boost this young man's confidence definitely. to end this this inning. That's a way. I believe it's two and two. All right, Hopkins sets. No, I hope I didn't miss that pitch. Here we go. And we'll set up outside. And that's it. Oh, third, nice third. play. Oh, what a great job. Takes a boss and he gets him the end oh, of the inning. Great play by the third baseman and the first baseman to stretch it out again. Foreman to Frost. Five to three. That ends the inning. Wow. After two and a half, your score. Brockton four. Cardinal Spellman two. And great job by the big right-handed pitcher for the boxers. Hopkins hung in there mentally tough. Forced the um, batter to hit the ball in the infield. And his defense made the play. Absolutely. For all the boxers, we will see Little, Genitasso, Mills. And if he reaches, we'll see Foreman. And I and I and Chris Frost, I know they're gonna designate a hit, but you are one heck of a first baseman, young man. Yes, he is. And even though uh the Cardinals got two runs in that inning, they could have got a lot more. Yep. And that play right there deflated him a little bit. I mean they 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 they're running back on the field with two runs they scored, yeah, but they could have had a, they know they could have had at least another run. Absolutely that was ball was a rope. Yes. I mean he roped that ball. Oh boy. All right, so here we go. I want to make sure I get that should be little. little. And it is. So little, he singled his last time up. He is officially one for one on the day. As we get ready to start the top of the third. Big test for the uh, Cardinals pitcher in this bottom of the third inning. Absolutely. It, it, it's tough being a pitcher when you're just learning. You're a high school pitcher. You still haven't fully developed mentally as well as physically. It's, it's a real challenge. Yep, it is. You're right. All right, so here we go. Get ready to start the bottom of the third. We're live here from Campanelli Stadium. Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano. Mike the Postman Simmons doing all the production and directing here from Campanelli as it's our pleasure to give you Brockton High School Baseball. That's low and inside ball one. <laughs> he almost looked like he was thinking about it. Just it was, from it his was little, tempting. Yeah, this way he kind of body English. And he's ahead 1-0. Here's the pitch. And that's fouled off towards us. You know what? I just realized we could get a souvenir today. We sure could. If it just gets over that <laughs> netting. Right. My, my hands are red. I didn't bring my glove today. but yeah, I got a pouch to call my stomach. <laughs> All right. Here's the 1-1. And that's hit to short. I should be third comes in, takes it, fires, and he got some nice play. Five to three. Buckley to spec for the out. That is five to three for the first out here in the third. Yeah, nice play by the tall third baseman. He charged it really well. Nice motion to get it over there to the first baseman before our boxer stepped on the bag. Nick uh, Genitasso, the Shortstop, grounded out six to three to end the first in end the first inning. Oh, way inside ball one. Here's the one off from the big lefty, and that's popped up out of play. And we'll do it all again with a one-one count. Just when it gets warmed up for high school baseball, the season's over. You know what I mean? Just when the weather gets nice. Yeah. 
All right, here's the one-one from the big Cardinal Spellman lefty. That's definitely away. Oh, that got away from him. He released that ball way, way too, early. too early. Yeah. And he know and he knew it. Two balls, yeah. one strike, one out, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the third. Swung and missed. Ooh. Nice breaking ball yeah, on I think that it one. Fooled him a little bit. Yep, I'd still be swinging. <laughs> Good job by the lefty helping himself out, getting back into this count. That's low. He was thinking, Nick was thinking about that pitch for a second. The lefty had him tempted. Here's the pitch. In the dirt, and he walks him. Nice job by Nick. Knowing where pitches to um, swing at and not swing at. Gets him on first base with a walk. So here's Antoine Miles, who hit a rope. The designated hitter hit a rope to the third baseman for the first out in the second inning. Is it, is it Miles or Mills? Um, this is Antoine Mills, I'm Mills, sorry. Okay. As we slowly start I was start going to say, bucket. that guy's got a great last name, <laughs> if it was Miles. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he sets. Here's the pitch. In the dirt. Nice block by the catcher. Yeah, this guy Mills, he just looks, he's the designated hitter. He just looks like he could uh, hit it out of his park. Big, strong young man. Nice job by Mardelli. The Cardinals catch a block on that last pitch. Yep, keeping it in front of him. Here's the pitch. That's a way. He's definitely a disciplined hitter. He is. Yeah. He knows what he likes, what he wants. Looking at a little advice from his third base coach. Here's the pitch. Off strike, throwback and sliding into the tag is Ginatasso. Nice job, him getting back. I, don't, I think he was a little surprised that the catcher threw it down there. Yeah, Martelli threw a bullet back to first. That was a bullet. I believe the official said it's two and one for our big designated hitter. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. And we'll do it all again. This time with a 2-2 two -two count. Boxer would love to add to their lead. And they've done it successfully with two outs in the first. They put four on in the first inning. That's a high and away going out for the steal. He's under the tag. Oh, oh, got him. I don't know about that. Yeah. I mean, it was a great throw, but Ooh, that was close. That was close. So that is uh, two to six on the put out. Wow. Two to, yeah, that's two to six. I mean, give the catcher credit. He gunned that down there. Oh, my deli, it was a high. I just thought, I thought he was under the tag. I Me too. That's a way, and he walks the big guy. So we end up with a runner at first again. This will bring up Foreman, who scored, singled, and, excuse me, walked and scored his last time up. Yeah, for some reason, I'm going back now. When I see number 11, for some reason, I think of Dave Stapleton. Oh, yeah. The Red Sox. Yeah, yeah. It's a good memory. Here's the pitcher, two out, one on inside. The manager coming out, talk to the something he didn't like that inside delivery. Yeah, that probably doesn't want to use his brushes. He's trying to use his food. <laughs> Don't they carry a little whisper on or something? They do. I got a couple of them. Maybe he forgot his. He might have. Yeah, he might have. He's talking. He's doing some type of talking to yeah. the batter. Yeah, don't worry about your brush. It's all right. I, I just feel like yelling out. Where's the whisper? Room? Yeah. All right, so they break it up. Well, it doesn't even break it up. The uh, Sean, the manager for the for for the Cardinals, he jogs quickly back to the dugout. And this is definitely a situational. They're trying to set up a situation there. Remind, yeah. He's reminding me. I believe that's what he's doing. I shouldn't say that. All right, so here we go. Here's the pitch. 
Ooh, that looks good. Strike. Yeah. Good pitch because he painted the outside corner. He did. Catch it in. Mardelli didn't have to move his glove that much. The ball's right there, too, yeah. He sets. Here's the pitch. That's low. Low. Had to be low. I yeah. believe that should be two and one. Yep. Hey, you got it right. There you go. I'm getting better at this. Here's the two one. That's away. And standing up at second on the pass ball, great hustle by Mills. And he is in scoring position with two out. Big guy like Mills, that's what you want to do is uh, you want, if you're on first, nothing, nothing greater than getting a pass ball and just kind of jog down the second. Absolutely. And he walks him. Low, low and inside. And with that being said, here comes a very dangerous hitter, and Jackson O'Brien, who scored twice. And now this guy's playing the role of leadoff hitter for uh, the boxes. He's doing his job. You just uh, uh, rolled off what he's done so far. There's the pitch in the dirt, ball one. Two out, two on. And like you said, uh, Dom, dangerous hitter. O'Brien, he knows how to connect that bat with the ball. He roped that ball down the third baseline his first time up, about six inches away from the third base bag. Throws it back. He was in contact with the rubber, and he, that means he has to throw the first, which he did. All right, here we go. You can hear the first base umpire yelling, uh, the coach, wonder if it was a balk. I believe that's 3-0. and Does that sound right? I, it sounds right. I don't remember any strikes being Yeah, balled. I mean, it, that'll bring up Armani LaRusso, who's one for two on the day next, if he throws, if he walks him here. Woo! He's one and miss. Got him a chase about letter high, it looked like. Yeah, well, Brian wanted that one. All right, O'Brien sets. Here's the pitch. No, I missed the pitch. I apologize. Good no, eye. three and one. Good eye. Oh, boy. All right, three balls, one strike. Two out, two on. Boxers trying to add to their lead. They're currently up 4-2 here in the third. He sets. Here's the pitch. Fouled in the box. Looks like it hit him somewhere. Yep. Take a deep breath, shake it off. It tagged him somewhere in the, on the foot or in the inner yeah. shin. Below the waistline. Umpire should let us know what the count is before he puts the ball back in play. Three and two. All right, full count. Everybody's running. Three and two. Here's the three, two. And he walks him. Walks him. Now the Cardinal Spellman pitcher is putting a lot of pressure on himself. He is done. With so, the bases loaded, yep. uh, Dom. So it looks like the catcher is going to pitch. So he is coming out. He's seen enough of um, Sugar Sand. That was yeah. a nice gesture. Yeah. That was awesome. Well, like I said, it's, when you get to the third and fourth cent, it's very tough for a high school pitcher. You can really see what they're made of after the second, third inning. It, it's, it's tough to continue, keep it going, concentrate on each batter. And uh, manager for Cardinal Spellman has seen enough and is gonna get somebody else out there. You know what else is really cool? As, as, uh, Bernet, but Teddy, I hope, I'm, I hope, I mean, I'm pronouncing your name right. Little uh, appreciation from the Cardinal Spellman faithful here at Campanelli, little applause as yep. he was jogging off. I like that, that was yep, really oh, cool. definitely so. So now on the hill is the catcher, Mardelli. And let's see who they're going to have catch here. I didn't really get a great lineup from uh, Cardinal Spellman. I don't think it was on purpose. I think they were worried about, you know, because some guys were running late. Sure. 
And so it looks like, let me see, it looks like um, Patetti's going to first. So Patetti goes to first. Your catcher is catching, so that tells me the first baseman is probably going to be a catcher, if I did that correct. And let's see, I believe, yeah, I believe that's the situation now. The, the catcher is now, I mean, the first baseman is now, now going to catch. So that would be spec number seven. And we got the catcher now pitching. And we have the catcher now pitching. And the first, and the pitcher went the first. But they do got subs, unless they're going to go with somebody else. But if they, let me see, yeah, there he's putting on yeah. shin guards. So he can get his number right. And we'll straighten that out for the Brockton faithful watching on BCA TV. Produced and directed by Mike, the postman Simmons. Who always delivers. Always delivers. No, I'm sorry, Kelly is going to catch. So that tells me that if um, Kelly goes, to, oh, the, you know what, they get the designated hitter too. All right, so it looks like, yep, so Kelly is going to catch. Um, the catcher, I believe, the catcher had, my deli had to go to, th yeah, he's at third. Okay. I mean, shortstop. He's at short. I apologize. He's so at short. So, uh, are you trying to set me a dom on who's on first? I am. Huh? I am. That's a great. I, I feel like uh, Costello and you're Abbott. You no, know, I'm definitely <laughs> Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the last one, my pitch. So, those are your positional changes. My deli is pitching. Um... But Teddy goes, to, and again, I'm sorry, but Teddy, if I pronounced your name wrong. He is going to first, and now playing shortstop. Uh, that should be Spec, if I'm doing that right. Uh huh. Yep, there he is. He's at. Yeah, oh, Dom, you're all right. He's at. There he is, right there. At shortstop. I'm almost getting good at this game. Yeah, it's, it's no easy task. Well, we just want our listeners to know, you know. Yeah. But well, you know. All right, so here we go. Again, two out, two on. Excuse me, bases loaded for the boxers. That's foul out of play. One and one. Here's the pitch. That's a way. Two and a, uh, one and one. So you got Mills at third, Foreman at second, Obi at first, LaRusso trying to add with two out. That gets away. We could have a pass ball and a run. Scores for the boxers. It's 5 2. Well, I tell you, if you're the big guy at third who just scored, Mills. Couldn't score any easier for the big guy. Uh, Pass ball. And he had a good lead. He had a good he had jump. Excellent lead. So he was ready. And the boxers add to the lead. It's now 5 2 Brockton. Pitcher sets. Here's the pitch. High and away. You know, it's, it's really um, tough for the Cardinal pitcher to come in here and replace the starting pitcher, and you got bases loaded. Plus, he was a catcher. He already and threw he's the, Yeah, yeah. he's a catcher. His arm can't, it has to be sore. That's called strike. Nice pitch. I mean, give him credit. He, he took on the task. He just has to figure a way to get out of this inning, get his guys back in the dugout. I believe that should be three and one. Here's the pitch. And that's a chopper, a little check swing bat over to one. And they get him. Then now that's six to three to end the inning. After three complete, your score Brockton five, Cardinals Spellman two. And we'll, would this be considered, would this be considered seventh, seventh inning stretch? Because we're only playing seven, we're in the fourth. <laughs> All right, just to note, 
Four Deep Sports Track will have their basketball award ceremony next Saturday, not this Saturday, in two weeks at Audrey's Restaurant as the recipients will receive their award. We're going to try to do that live at Audrey's Restaurant. You have Christy McDonald from Norwood High School. She was nominated and voted by the local sports writers as Boys Basketball Coach of the Year. Mike Coster from Whitman Hanson. He was a Girls Basketball Coach of the Year. Uh, girls, bas- girls Basketball player was Caroline Pepper from Oliver Ames. And the boys player was Mike Lognan from BC High. So the only thing is, as you watch the show, the Mike Lognan interview, which is going to be an interview, he's not going to be able to attend it. And then we're also, we also have a surprise for people that are watching. We are going to give out two Lifetime Achievement Awards, one to uh, Bill Wilhelm, who's donated his time and effort on local radio, and Coach Holbrook from All the Rains for 47 years of service with girls' high school sports over at All the Rains. So don't miss it. We're going to start that at 6. All right, so we're underway as Hopkins stays in the game. We'll get you the batter in about two seconds. I believe this should be Skaponski, who flew out to 7 for the first out the center fielder for the first out in the second inning. As we get ready to start the bottom of the fourth. And Hopkins worked. Hopkins worked. Called strike, we're underway in the fourth. Here's the pitch. Swan and missed. 0 oh and 2. Here's the 0-2. Called strike three and got him. Oh, baby, what a nice pitch. Got him looking on the out, the backward K for the first out here in the fourth. Say, that'll bring up Catton now, who, who grounded out 5-3 to three for the second out in the second inning his last time up. Here's a pitch by Hopkins. Called strike at the knees. Here's the 0-1. Hopkins sets and fires. That's high and inside. Ball one. One ball, one strike. He just let off the inning. If you're just joining us, Dominic Hopkins just struck out the first battle looking a nice pitch in the outside. That's hit the third. Foreman takes it. Over to for all oh, that gets away from Frost, and he reaches on an error. So they have a run right, potential run right there as the ball slipped out of Foreman's hand, trying to get it over to first base. That'll bring up uh, the left fielder. Hemmings, who singled and scored, walked and scored in the second inning, the second run, actually the first one for the Cardinals. Hopkins sets, here's the pitch. That's a low and outside for ball one. Working quick is Dominic Hopkins. Quick throw back to first and under this safely is the base runner. Nice tag by Frost. Hopkins sets. Here's the pitch. That's fouled off. It's one thing I didn't miss when the, when the uh, semi-pro guys were playing here about foul balls. Always worried about getting hit. I always wanted a foul ball, but I was always worried about getting hit. <laughs> All right, Paul Mike Simmons putting up with me for four innings. There's the pitch. Called strike inside. Oh, 
Hopkins sets. That's outside. Hopkins sets again. Here's a pitch. And that's popped up. Center fielder goes back, takes it all the way. Nice play by O'Brien for the second out. And that'll be listed, uh, that'll be marked as an F8 for the second out. So with two outs, Kelly comes up. This should be up, and it's Kelly. He comes up to lead off for this for Cardinal Spellman as Skaponski struck out looking to lead off this inning and then a wild pitch by forming the frost and that's why we have a run at first base. So with two outs, trying to make a nice pickoff move, just getting under there. I'll tell you, Hopkins still looks strong coming here in the fourth. Absolutely. Hopkins sets. Here's the pitch. Called strike. Yeah, nice pitch right there. All right, he sets. He looks in. Looks over at first. And oh, Whoa. nice play by oh. Frost to end the inning. Nice job there. Nice defensive job by the first baseman. Great job. That was a rope. That's a G. And he got that on the, the backhand. He really did. Hey, after three and a half, your score boxes five. Cardinal Spellman two. For the boxers, if I did this correctly, let me see. What did Lou, you know what? I think I missed the LaRusso out. What did Mr. LaRusso to end the, to end the boxers? Uh, Third inning. Do you remember what he did? Yeah, uh, he. Because uh, Inesco. Uh, he Inesco, grounded out. He grounded out. He grounded out to the um, third, shortstop. That's right. He went six to three in the game. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Now my book is good. So now we'll have um, Anusco, Hopkins, and Balti to lead off for the boxers. If they reach, we'll see little. Anusco is uh, one for two on the day. He flew out to right field for the second out and singled in the second. Hopkins walked and scored in the first, flew out to center field for the second out in the second, and then Balti singled, and he struck out swinging to end the second inning. So basically each batter coming up right now is one for two on the day. And back on the hill is Mardelli, who was catching, and now he's on the hill. Let's see if the boxers can get to him. As we have basically the little, the little version of a city championship, bragging rights in the city for bragging rights 2022. And you know, for what it's worth, coming into this game, the the, the boys baseball team at Cardinal Spellman came into this game one and four. They really don't look that bad. No, they don't. You I know, mean, that's a strong little team. Yeah, they've got some good players on there, but they really do. It's just that they're going up against one of Brockton's top pitchers. Yes, um, Mr. Hopkins, who has right now shown his A game. Yeah, he has, especially in the last half inning. And like I say, anytime if you still got your starting pitcher, still pitching after the fourth inning, uh, that's really saying something in high school um, baseball. Actually, absolutely. So you know how you're doing in basketball and. Zeke Williams was my favorite basketball player last year. I already told, I already told um, Montero, said, you're up for next year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he actually got nominated for the Four Deep Sports Talk. Uh, we actually had, I, I know I haven't talked to you in a while, but I was just saying between innings, I'll mention it again, we're having an award ceremony in two weeks, and um, Cameron Montero was nominated through the sports writers and the guys do the radio, so congratulations to Cameron. Oh, definitely congratulations. Ball low, run away in the fourth. And let me mark my messy book so I can almost follow along. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going back again. Number eight, another famous Hall of Famer, uh, Cal Ripken. Cal Ripken, yeah. 
for the Baltimore Orioles. They named a baseball league after him. It's taken off pretty good. Cal Ripken baseball. Here's the pitch. It's Ooh. high and away. High, yeah. High and inside. Excuse high me. inside, yeah, because he kind of ducked a little bit. Yeah. All right, Mardelli, he works right out of the stretch. That's a way, a little miscommunication. And he'll reach on a base on balls. If they don't get, that's a live ball. He might try for two. Wow. He is going to try for two. Here's the throw. He is going to be safe. What a heads oh, up play. Oh, what a heads up play. You know, because I was wondering why he was racing down the first baseline, but because he knew it was a pass ball. And then great communication by the third base coach Brockton's manager to tell him to just keep run, keep moving it, because nobody was going after the ball. Absolutely. If I'm that first base coach, and probably run. Yes. He, he doesn't have the ball. That ball was 12 feet away from the catcher. On a break for uh, Brockton, miscue by the by the yeah, Cardinals. Definite dis, uh, defensive miscue. Cause uh, which cost them the run of the. Instead of being at first base, he's at second. I haven't seen that in a long time. No, I haven't. Me neither. All right, so here we go. Nobody out. Man in scoring position here in the fourth. Here's the pitch. That's low, 2-0. and oh. oh, my goodness. Yeah, I think right now the defense for uh, the Cardinals, the infield, a little bit discombobulated, just can't believe what just happened. That's a perfect word. <laughs> That's a perfect word. Here's the third. Three all that's high in a way. Nobody told nobody told the catcher to get the ball. He sat there for a yeah. minute. Unless the catcher he could have he could have got he could have got confused on the count. You right, know what I mean? Right. He could have thought it you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's a hot chopper to short. Spec fires, gets him at one. Oh what a rifle. Nice throw. Yeah, I agree. So he out. gunned that over there. He did. That's six to three. For the first out, that moves the runner in scoring potential. Sam Balti has a chance. One for two on the day. Singled and struck out in the second. Singled in the first and struck out in the second. He has a chance to help the, help the cause right now. One out. Mardelli, pitch outside. You know, Dom, it's, it's been a while since I've seen Brockton baseball. Some COVID and everything happening, but... Brockton looks pretty sharp in those um, they, Brockton boxer pinstripes. They do look good. In the they pen. look awfully good. I was caught off guard when I was talking to Coach uh, uh, Keenan about that. There's a ball hitting the left field, going back to the fielder, Ooh. makes the play, tagging and scoring, and the boxers add one, one more run. Didn't he? Did he catch I that ball? I thought he caught it. He caught yeah. that ball. Oh, they want to see if he's out. Yeah. Yikes. He almost got away with it. <laughs> he did a good job of acting. I thought I missed that play. <laughs> yeah, Didn't I said, you? wait a minute, he caught that ball. All right, so that's a fly out to seven. Yeah. Look at the, the his players are giving him a big hand. You almost got away with it. Right. That's, <laughs> well, that's why the base umpire is supposed to yell, it's yeah. a catch. Right. That was on him. Let me see. Where was the base runner? Oh, no. the So the, that's his call. The home, that's play, home plate's right, call. Right. That's oh, what they I want to appeal meant. to see if he left early. Oh, okay. Safe. Yep. So now if he puts himself on the pitch and plate, now he has to ask for time. He has to say, I want to appeal that the runner left. But yeah. the ball was still live. Right. Hey, that was a good catch by the left fielder. I thought almost it was going to go over his head. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, what, what, why is he running the second base? You know? Oh, yeah. boy. All right. So the fun's over. Brockton up 6-2 to two now. Yes, yeah, 6-2. Called strike. And Botelli will get credit with the RBI. Mardelli sets again. Nobody on. Two out now for the boxes. About a run in. That's outside. As Little looks at it. Little also one for two 
Miles singled in the first, rounded out five to three for the first out in the third. Well, I tell you, the top of this order as well as the bottom of the order, they've all contributed. Here's the, here's the pitch, and that's a drive hit. Left field, left field on his track. They could go over his head, and he makes oh, a diving no. catch. Nice catch. He hustled. That ends the inning. After three, I think the Cardinal, Cardinals want to stay on the field, play defense. I'm only kidding. After th after four, your score, Brockton six. Cardinals Spellman two. I tell you that, that was a great play. The left fielder kept his eye on the ball. That was a great play. Because when that he first connected the ball, um, Brockton box the ball player first connected on that pitch, I thought it was gonna go over his head. I did too. But it hung up there just enough for the left field to get over there and semi kind of went down with it. The ball yeah. then kind of dropped on him. But good catch because he kept his eye on the ball. Yeah, so the way the mechanics work is if there's if it's first and second, the base on play by is supposed supposed to be anywhere between the second, of course, on the grass, between second and shortstop, right, mm -hmm. or short and third. When the runner at second, with just a runner at second, he's in the same position. Otherwise, with runners on, he's always between second and the second baseman on the grass. Yeah. So there that ball belongs to the, to the home plate umpire. Just saying. I got that off my chest. <laughs> Hey, we still got the big right-hander out there. Yes, we do. Uh, you missed it. You mowed him down in the first batter, first time up in the fourth. As that, we get that's ready a to good give you sign. The fifth. Absolutely. Again, welcome, everybody, watching on BCA TV. We have Mike the Postman Simmons doing the production and the directing. I have the pleasure to be joined also by Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano. As we get ready to give you the top of the fifth, 6-2 boxers trying to approve the 3-1. and one. Here in, the, here in game four of this season. And we're in the top of what? We are in the top of the fifth. Wow. And here comes Mardelli. I'm never a fan after a kid catching and then put him on the hill. I mean, I know they're young and they have, you know, and, but that still can't be right. Yeah. Run the way ball one in the fifth. What do you think? What's your opinion? Well, I, I mean, the, the coach knows his players. Obviously, True. he knows that his catcher can come out there and relieve the pitcher. Yep. I guess the kid's strong enough. That's outside 2-0. Oh. Mentally as well as physically to go out there and, and do the best that he can. All right, 2-0, oh, just underway in the fifth. Pitcher against pitcher. Mardelli steps in the big right-handed stick. Mardelli singled. He is actually... One, for, he's actually, I'm sorry, he's 0 for 1 in the day, but he, sing, he walked twice. So he's going to make Hopkins pitch. He is, 3-0. He's just going to wait like a good hitter should. And he walks him. Is that his third walk today? That is. Here comes Speck. He is one for two on the day. Flow out for the second out in the first and singled in the third. Oh, His low. last time up. That was low. Here's the 1 0. Called strike. Ooh, nice pitch right there. Paint at the outside corner. Yeah, LaRusso didn't have to move his glove that much. Held it perfect. Like you said, framed it perfect. Ooh, nice Ball pitch. Strike Got him inside this time. All right, here we go. I believe it's 1-2. Does that sound right? Sounds right. He sets. Yeah, on the pitch. That's popped up. Can we get that? That is... Out of play. So we'll do it all again with a one two count. That was a hit. That was textbook hit and run. Textbook, yeah. He was like, no matter what his coach said, you're hitting that ball swing, and then we're going to move the guy over to second. Well, it would have been textbook if they pulled it off. 
All right, one and two. One on, nobody out here in the top of the fifth. Six, two boxers. Quick pit throw, he does it again. Ooh, I like the tag, I like the motion, going yes, to first. Yes. That's nice. Yeah, Hobson's got the pickoff move down. There's the pitch, that's in the dirt. That'll run the count to, I believe, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, one on, nobody out. Nobody in here in the fifth. Hopkins sets, again, out of the stretch. Here's the pitch, and that's popped up. Right field, it goes back. Oh, no. Oh, he lost he the dropped ball. It. But he can force him out if he tags second, and he does. Got him. Great throw by the right fielder. He didn't quite keep his eye on the ball. It looked like it popped out of his glove. It, it, it did. He just didn't, when the ball landed in the glove, you got to close it. Yep. And I'm sure his coach will let him know, you got to close that. I think he was thinking too much about that first base runner. He really was. So Mardelli will be thrown out. Nine, here's something you don't see every day. Nine to six for the first out. Uh, of course, Speck reaches on the field as choice. Yep, and uh, what you call gets a good hand. Yeah, Dominic Hopkins. Dominic Hopkins. And who do we got going with? Well, it looks like a couple changes. Three, okay. 33 is now in for Brockton. That will be... Zeke, oh my goodness, E. Chester Kelly. This pa these pa these parents are call parents are call definitely calling BCA TV after tonight's oh, yeah. broadcast. Help me out, young man. I thought that was a delicacy in a Chinese menu. Woo. Zeke, I I don't know it. <laughs> I know it's Zeke. Zeke, yeah. I'll tell you one thing: it ain't Zeke Williams. That's a tough one. Inchestic. Inchestic something. Inchestic goo? Inchestic goo? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry goodness. out there, Mom and Dad. Yeah, me too. Inchestic goo? Inchestic goo. But we'll get that name down next time. Send all your complaints to Miles Jackson. <laughs> <on> any <laughs> any, with any problem with the pronunciation, I'll, I'll give his number right after this half inning. Well, I tell you, he's throwing some heat down there. So Zeke is gonna is on the hill in relief. Yes. That will give. Um, excuse me. That will give um, Dominic Hopkins four and a third inning. He has he has given up. He has walk. Uh, first, we'll do the walks. He walked three. He has given up. Three, two hits, and struck out one. Not bad. No, not bad at all. He and he's given up uh, two hits. I mean, two runs. And he also takes. He's also responsible for Speck at first. So how many outs we get? We, I have one out. And on the steal going down, and he is under the tag and safe. Had the tag. It's just. Couldn't hold on to that ball when the, when the runner came in contact with that glo um, glove and disrupted the uh, out right there because he had him. Zeke looks over at second, the big right-hander. Fires, yeah. nice pitch for strike. That was a nice curve. Yeah, I was going to say, that looked like a nice curve ball. Great job. Oh, and two now. Woo! Got him on the K for the second out. Through the heat. Zeke, through the heat. Nice job by the big guy. All right, two and it comes to Mastrani, the left fielder. Zeke sets. He fires. 
in the dirt, ball one. Nice job by LaRusso getting that out of the dirt. Made it look effortless. He did. That's an athlete. That kid's an yeah, athlete. Yeah, he is. Zeke sets, looks over at second, and on a and on a steal down the third, he slides under the tag. It hits Speck on the shin. Look at the throw down if it could have been just up a little bit. Yep. But the um, base runner did have a big lead. Called strike. I believe. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to give the count because I told when I, it caught me off surprise on the on the steal, second to third. Mm. That was a great steal, inside ball. All right, here we go. Zeke sets out of the windup. Here's his pitch. Woo! Uh -huh. Got him. There's uh, foul two. tip into the foul glove. Tip, yep. He thought he struck out. Oh, okay. The, the so he's second strike. Okay. Yeah, he thought he struck out. He's walking back. He got himself off guard. He's confused. Nice catch by LaRusso on the foul Excellent. tip. He could get him right here. Here's the two strike pitch. That's in the dirt. And he walked him. So that should bring up. Number eight. The pitcher of the the starting pitcher, but uh, but Teddy. So he reaches on the base on balls, first and third, two out, two on. And Larusso is setting up the possible first and third situation for the Brockton defense. Yeah, good 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 sign of a good catcher to go out there and take charge. Take charge, exactly. Zeke sets, not much of a lead at first. Steps off smartly, makes them all both. Both go back. But that Dominic Hopkins, he pitched a good game, and he has a heck of a pickoff move to the first. Oh, best I've seen as far as high school goes. Hit and run, foul ball. Tried to place it over there, over the third baseman's head. Yep. Almost got away with it. He did. Well, it's funny because, like you said about our angle, we talked about this earlier in the inning, in the game, mm -hmm. the way it looks like it's going in play, and then, you know, you realize they don't have a chance. Oh, well, he's either calling the same. Let's see if he's going to change it up. And I can tell you, with in good conscience, I have no idea what he called. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the pitch. Called strike back at third. They have him at three. He slides and under and scores. Nice try. There's nobody, nobody at third, at third. Base. He'll slide it. He'll. Go up standing. Yeah, good base running by the Cardinals' uh, base runner there at second. He saw that no one was at third and took off. Six to three now, Brockton. And Coach Brennan talked about this. He knows he has a good. He, he knows he has a good squad, but yeah, this is what hurt him in the Nosset game. I believe he has two strikes on this batter. Oh, high. high. Yeah. He that was great heads up by uh, Mastrani paying yeah. attention. Yeah, the pitcher's just got to get that out of his mind, concentrate on the batter. It's hit the third, takes a crazy bounce, he carries it, fires at the first. And they're going to say he was off the bag and never tagged him. And yeah. another run in for the Cardinals. That was a hard shot to the third baseman. He did a nice job of stopping it. Just couldn't keep it in his glove to make that motion right away and get the runner. Fell out of his glove, picked it up, and uh, gunned it over there, but it was just a little bit too late. So we have a, we have a change. Yep, and I, I apologize because I didn't get the... The game was running so late. Again, the Cardinals manager was waiting on bodies. Uh -huh. Are they going pinch runner or are they going... Are they changing the hitter? Oh, they're changing the hitter. So, so, Botetti's going to stay. Now batting, and I apologize, I didn't get the whole lineup because they weren't sure. At the time when I was asking, right. there was only nine guys on the field. And they he looked like they have a good 12-man roster. Now batting number 18, left-handed hitter for the Cardinals. 
He is batting in uh, Skipensky's spot, who's 0 for 2 on the day, in the designated hit hitter spot. Zeke sets, looks over at first, fires. Just what was wrong with that? Bit high. Must have I been. Guess. It looked right over the plate. It did. Either that or too far in. The way, the way it broke inside. Zeke sets, looks over at first. He's, he's down 1 0. Now he's down 2 0. Yeah, that looks, looks like it got away from him a little bit. Cardinal dugouts hearing a little chatter now. They got a little rally going. He sets, here's the pitch. That's high. 3 0. And you know they're going to tell him to take it. You have to. Yeah, 3 0. He's going to get a pinch runner. You heard the manager. He's indicating a pinch runner already. Zeke Smiley steps off. Yep. Now, that Zeke, he definitely has great movement on his ball. He definitely has a fastball and a curveball. He sets. Here's the pitch. Called nice strike. Pitch. Nice pitch. Look at, he was ready to go right to You're first base. You're supposed to call the strike if he bails on the pitch. As soon as that, he gets out of the, that's, that's an automatic right. strike. Because he was bailing early. <laughs> Before the ball could get to the plate. Here's a 3 1. And Ooh. that's ball four. Must have been low. But Teddy at for at second, that the pinch runner, the pinch hitter. And now they get a pinch first. runner. first. Now, you're gonna, of course, yeah, they're going to. They got the young man speed. Speed, uh, right. And they're going to go, looks like they're going back to Kent, Catton. Catton, he is 0 for 2 on the day. Zeke sets, looks over at second. Here's the pitch. That gets away from LaRusso. And everybody moves up a base at second and third. The tying run is now at second base. And that really wasn't LaRusso's fault. It was just that was in the dirt way before the plate. Yeah, took a bad bounce on the catcher. We're in the fifth, and the Cardinals have scored two. Called strike. Two out, two on. And two in for the Cardinals. Here's the pitch. Swan and missed. Nice pitch. Yeah, nice pitch. Had him chasing it a little bit. Looked like it was still a strike, but it was to the outside. It was. Here's the pitch. Down the third. Taken by Foreman. Over to first. Takes a bad bounce. Here comes another run in. And we're tied at six. But it looked like when the third baseman threw it over there, there was a little contact with the runner. But if it was, they would have called the runner out? Yep. Okay. Because you're right. It looked like the... It looked like, but I guess it wasn't. But no. tough break there for the boxers. Wow. They have scored four runs in the fifth. Zeke sets. Here's the pitch. In the dirt. Nice block. And there's Hemmings now. Hemmings was singled and scored in the second and flew out in the fourth. I mean the third and flew out in the fourth for the second out. Zeke sets, looks over at first. Call nice strike. Nice pitch. Now we have a baseball game. He sets again. Here's that pitch. That takes a crazy bounce. Second baseman throws it the nice. second to end the inning. Little, I believe that, that was a little to Genetowski Gen that ends mm -hmm. the inning. But, but the Cardinals have scored four in the fifth. After four and a half, your score, we're tied at six. Wow. So you can see the coach for Brockton is talking to his players. Not happy. 
I'm sure he isn't, but he has to let them know. Just forget about it, and let's get back out there and do what we do and put the um, bat on the ball. Absolutely. Score some more runs. Yes, sir. I totally agree to that. Right now, um, the Cardinals have a little momentum, but the uh, boxers can erase that away quickly. The Cardinals have nothing to lose here. They are playing carefree, if you think about it. Yeah. And still on the hill, Mardelli, who caught, what, four innings before, or three innings before they three. put him on the hill? Something like that, right? Two or three, yeah. This is about his third inning pitch, pitching. He, he was catch, started catching. Yep. And then uh, they put him out there, I believe, in the third inning. All right, leading off for the boxers. We can't dwell on it now because we've got a game will be Nick uh, Genitasso. He'll lead off for the boxers, followed by Mills and Foreman. And if they reach, we'll see Jackson O'Brien. And when I was talking about uh, Cameron Montero, uh, Jackson O'Brien right now is my favorite baseball player right now in this 2022 squad. Yeah, I love them all, but he's the one that stands out right now. Right now, he looks like the uh, what a Kiki Fernandez of the Red Sox. He does. He of, really um, does. Boxes. Yep. Again, we'd like to welcome everybody watching on BCA TV. As we're tied at six here at Campanelli. And we get ready to give you the top, excuse me, the bottom of the fifth inning. And Mardelli sets right out of the stretch. Swan and missed, run away. Big cut. Big cut. Here's the 0-1, and that's hit in the center field for a base hit. Yeah. Great way to start the fifth. Nice stinging single right up the middle, like you said, to start this inning. And here comes the very dangerous, hard-hitting Antoine Mills, number 42, the designated hitter. It'd be nice to see Mills put one a shot Hard shot over one of these uh, outfielders. Mardelli sets. Here's the pitch. Takes ball high and inside. Yeah, good patience right there from the big guy. He just looks like a ball player. Yeah. He's sitting there, He's poised. Nice like, stance. Absolutely. Here's Mardelli's pitch. Called strike. That'll even it out one and one. One ball, one strike, one on, nobody out. Yeah, that was a tough pitch to hit. It painted the corner again, outside corner. And Mills felt uh, he didn't feel comfortable about swinging at that one. There's a pitch, a hit and run popped up. That might, the right fielder comes over and makes the play. Wow. Makes it look interesting, I tell you that. He did, he really did. That was. <laughs> Nerve-wracking <laughs> just watching it. It sure was. F to F9 if you're scoring at home for the first out in the fifth. And I tell you, if Mill could have got full contact on that ball, that was going somewhere. He just got a piece of the ball there. It was a high fly. Brady Foreman steps in. Singled in the second. Walked in the third. That's hit the right field. That could fall that could down fall, the line. That could fall. That could fall. And it, oh, oh, just short. Foul ball. And like I said, from the angle we got, that I thought looked, that was going. I thought that was going to just get inside the <laughs> right field line. It did. And that was way off. It's all on timing. Mardelli is pitching a good game coming into relief. And the box is just trying to get his timing down. Exactly. Mardelli sets. Here's the pitch. That's a way good block by the catcher. Kelly in relief. Looks over at first. Not much of a lead. Now he goes. Here's the pitch. Hit and oh, I thought he was going to be hitting and He slides under. He's safe. Nice. Great job. 
Great I, jump. I was, as you can tell, I was thinking hit and run. But uh, Foreman smartly laid off that pitch. I was getting ready to say that. He saw that his teammate was dashing to second base yep. on the steal, and he smartly, as you said, held up and uh, let the play happen. Now in, now in scoring position. Mardelli, he fires. Foul ball. Ooh, he wanted that one. He did. Nice cut. A little battle between Brady Foreman and Mardelli, the pitcher right now for the Cardinals. He sets. Here's his pitch. And that's the second. That'll move the runner over for the second out. That's four to three with two outs. At least he got him over there to third base. And let O'Brien get up here and do his thing. Do it for Dominic, kid. <laughs> do it for Dominic. Jackson O'Brien, he is officially two for two on the day, scored twice. So he's a playmaker. And a walk. He's actually perfect. He's actually, his on base is perfect at a thousand. He's three for three. In the dirt. O'Brien would love to give Brockton the lead right now. Oh, they're going to purposely put him on. Oh, wow. So they're going to force the bait on the walk, so that'll purposely put O'Brien on. Well, it just shows you the respect yes. that the Cardinals are giving O'Brien. He's a dangerous hitter and a, and a dangerous base runner, too, but very dangerous hitter, and they decided to go ahead and uh, intentionally walk him. So they're going to go with Omani LaRusso, the catcher, flew out for the first out in the first inning, singled in the second, and grounded out 6-3 to three to end the third. Is, so he's one for three on the day. I tell you, he's put he's put the uh, bat on the ball, so this is no easy out here. I'm thinking between short and third right now, or right around this bat. Called strike. Nice heads up running. That'll put him in scoring position. Yep. Second and third. O'Brien at second. Genitasso at third. I believe that last pitch was called a strike. Boxes are loud in the dugout. Here's the pitch. In the dirt. Good look there. You can see it was a low. That it was over the plate, but it was just low. Yep. That should run the count to one and one. One ball, one strike. Two out, two on. Boxes threatening with two outs. Here's the pitch. Ball high. Remember last time the boxes scored two with two out rally in the first inning. That's right. Trying to get that rhythm back. It was probably 10 degrees warmer then, too. Here's the pitch. Swan and missed. Got him to chase that curveball. Yeah. Fooled him. I believe it's one and two. He sets. Mardelli's pitch. And that's it. Takes a crazy bounce, hits a fire at the first. You got the bag, Brent scores. Wow. He forced uh, Speck to make a crazy throw because he knew I was getting ready to LaRusso say that. was flying. Exactly, I think the speed intimidated the shortstop and he just gunned it over there a little wildly and took the uh, first baseman off the bag, fortunately for the boxers. The boxers take a 7-6 lead. And now coming up is Braden Nusko. He is one for two on the day. Flew out to right field for the second out in the first, singled in the second, and then he walked and scored in the fourth. So he's been active too. Mardelli sets, goes back to first. I'm not a big fan of that, and I didn't like it when the boxers did it. If you throw that ball away, yeah, exactly. and it's not, you're, there's a exactly. run that's going to walk in 90 feet. I mean, you're in the fifth inning. Why risk that base runner to go to second, possibly third? I mean, he doesn't have a big lead, but he is fast. He goes with the pitch, 
High pitch away. And sliding in the second is LaRusso. And it's second and third with two out. Um, yes, two outs. It's nice to see the coach of the box is getting very aggressive, having his base runners go for that second base if they're on first. Here's the pitch. That's in the dirt. Let's see if the bit. You're kidding me. The plate umpire's not playing up the plate. Oh, you can't even see the plate. <laughs> You're right. It's not fair to the pitcher. Exactly. Well, the batter, right? Not fair to the batter either. Here's the pitch. And nice. that's hit to short. Speck gets it. Takes a crazy bounce. And everybody's in a run score. Another runs in. Wild pitch. Taking off for second is a new score. Nice. And another run in. As O'Brien scores, that puts LaRusso at third. And the great thing about that play was the the um, the batter made contact and made the defense make an error or whatever. Yeah. Make, they had, he didn't strike out. He made them make the play. And fortunately for the um, boxers, they couldn't make the play. It was a hard shot. And Speck knew he had he'd been tested twice. Yeah. He knew he had to get a good a good throw. Yep. Took a crazy bounce. Couldn't really grab the ball the way he wanted to. Nice, nice shot. Two in here with two outs. Swung and missed by Hopkins. Alarusso thinking about thinking about going on the pass ball. Nice job by Kelly keeping it in front of him. All right, two in, eight, seven, eight, six now, boxers. Yeah, they're fired up over there in the boxer dugout. That's a way. Hopkins now. He is one for three on the day. Here's the pitch. That's low. Dropped a couple of degrees. It's now 53. Oh my God! I think we started. It was almost 60. Yeah, it was 58. Ooh. Not anymore. My deli sets. Here's the pitch, and that's fouled off into the net. Excuse me. Boy, if he could have caught all of that, that was going right over the uh, first baseman's head. Yes, sir. If that happened, you know two runs would have scored easily. Two balls, two strikes, two on, two in for the boxes. Here in the bottom of five. Here's the pitch. Ooh, that's wide. It's almost time to put the lights on here at Camp I was, I was thinking about the same thing. I see they got the lights over there at Marciano Stadium on. They must be having to yes, track me. Yeah, they've got a track me going on. Mardelli sets. Uh, he steps off. Call for time. That's how pitchers get hurt. You know, they yeah. focus on their lineup and you tell them to jittle like that cold weather. All right, here we go. Mardelli looks in. Second and third, two out, two in. Bottom of five. Here's the pitch. There and he that's is. That's in the left center field. The base hit. One run will come in. Oh, Another got run. Got by the outfielder. Got by him. Hopkins will stand out second with a two RBI, two out double. That was a clutch. Double with two out, as you said, for Hopkins helping his cause. And now the box has got the serious momentum here in the bottom of the fifth. Boxes have scored four runs with two outs. They did it two in the first, and now they answer back with two outs in the fifth with four runs. Clutch hitting by Hopkins. And that's popped up to the third baseman. He'll take it. And oh! oh, he misses the ball and a run scores. Wow. And if you ask me, I mean, it looked like that was a shortstop's ball. But, you know, I mean, gee, I'm sure now he wish he would have let the shortstop take it. This should bring up Reese Little. The boxes have scored five runs here in the fifth. 
and a play like that will definitely make the uh, coach for the other team pull their hair out of their head. Tough play there. Gotta Tough break for the Cardinals. Got to use two hands to catch the ball. Got to use two hands. There you go. There you go. I hate when they, the pros do it. That's inside. I'm going to call a dead ball. He's hit by the ball. Ball's dead. So he reaches on a hit by pitch with two outs. Hit by pitch. And right now, the uh, the Cardinals are uh, kind of reeling right now. And you know what's going on now? We are at the top of the order. Top of the order. Nick um, Genetasso, who singled and scored to start this off in this fifth inning. It's official. The boxes have batted around. That's high and away, ball one. Yep, and the boxes um, dug out really chirping now. They've got the momentum going. Here's the pitch, foul ball. That is 10, correct? 10 correct, is that right, the score? Am I saying that right, sir? 11, thank you. 11 to six. That's even sweeter. Mardelli sets, here's the pitch. And that's hit in the center field. Center field goes over and it gets Drop. over his head. One run will score. Another run will score. And he has a double with a, a two out double for two more. Nice. It was, uh, the outfielder actually, he got to the ball and it looked like it hit his glove and then bounced back behind him and kept going. And the man who started it all scores two more. He just hit it right over the center field's head. Yeah, Nick G. That's a good nickname. Yeah, I like that. I like that too. <laughs> but he, but he, he really smacked that ball out there. He did. There. He got a good rope on that. And the yeah, got a good rope on it. And the center fielder had to move over towards his right, his left, charging at it, and um, it was just a little bit too much. Tough catch, but I can't say he should have had it, but he should have had it. Let's see if the let's see if the umpire uses his brush. Nope. Nope. That's he left his brush in the car or at home? <laughs> it's in his bag. I saw him pull it out of his bag. Oh, boy. All right. Here comes Ant Antoine Mills, number 42, the designated hitter. One for three on the day. He made the first out in this inning. I know he doesn't want to make another one. Takes strike one inside. Yep, inside, just inside for the big guy. Nice pitch by Mardelli. And the lights are on at Campanelli. They set. Here's his pitch to 0-1. That's high inside, one and one. One ball, one strike. Seven in with a two-out rally in wow. the fifth. Can you believe it? That's humble. That's. You can't, it's, Who used to say that for the uh, for the Red Sox? I don't think. Not Jerry dead. Remy. It's not Jerry Remy. No, what, but Jerry's partner. Can you believe it? Joe Castiglione. Joe Castiglione. Yeah, good point. Can the radio you believe man. it? Yes, yes, the radio guy. Looking to add to the lead. Brockton has blown this game wide open in the fifth. Wide open. Which means I have a late dinner tonight. And that's hit the third base. Nice job on the hop. Throws it over to one. That ends the inning. But the damage is done. Is done. I believe yes. that's 13 now. After five, your score, Brockton 13. Cardinal Spellman six. Wow. Yeah, Cardinal Spellman took a licking that inning. I mean, they had they had Brockton two outs, and Brockton just wouldn't let it happen, no. and just had a big time rally happen. And, and right now, the Cardinals are stunned because oh, yeah. they had a little momentum going in there into that uh, bottom of the fifth, uh, tying the game back up. But the boxes didn't uh, prevail. Came out throwing serious punches. They really did. That was five to three for the third out. I just feel bad for Antoine Mills. He made the first out. He made the last out of the inning. But they had to go all the way around. But the box is battered around. And just some simple things that yeah. the Cardinals hurt themselves with. Just like using two. I mean, they know. They, they know. 
I don't know if to exp I don't have to say. I, I, yeah, and the, the left fielder, he really, that, you know, he didn't do the fundamentals. Closed that glove when the ball yeah. came into his glove, and it just popped right out. Yep, same thing for the third baseman, Third too. baseman, too, yes. Let's see, are we moving guys around on our team? Mm, uh, yeah, so now we have, now playing first base, and I'm going to try to get these names right. It, look, uh, Foreman has gone to first. Let me see. So he's playing first base. So Frost is out. Playing, Hopkins is playing third. Yeah, number eight is playing first. Yep, that's... Um, Who is that? Number eight playing first? Yeah, I looked the back of his jersey. That's inside. Ball one. All right. No, that's 11. That's it's 11. Uh, oh, excuse me. That's okay. Foreman. That's Brady Foreman. And then Dominic Hopkins went to third. Yep, Hoppy's at third. And Zeke is still on the hill. And Zeke, I promise next game I will get your name right. That's popped up. Excuse me, that's a drive in the center field. I apologize. Taken by the center fielder for the first out. Yeah, nice job by the center fielder to get right under it quickly. And that'll bring out Mardelli. So that is a fly out to seven, excuse me, eight for the first out. Bring up Mardelli, who is 0 for 3 on the day. Zeke would love to get a rhythm and get right back into the dugout. That's high ball one. Nice breaking ball, just released it too late. I mean, too early, because it didn't snap out of his hands. He sets. Here's a 1 0. That fouled out of play. And let's run the count to one and one. One ball, one strike. One out, nobody on in the top of the sixth. The boxes have blown this game wide open. That's high, two and one. Gee, we've had warmer football games. Oh my God, yeah, <laughs> correct. That's going to happen sooner than we, than we talk, my friend. That's in the dirt. Three and one. Three balls, one strike, one out. Again, nobody on, nobody in for the Cardinals here in the top of the sixth. And that's hit into right field, right center field, right field. On the corner, goes over his head. Nice hit by Mardelli. Yes. He'll turn, and he will stand up at second with a one-out double. Wow, he poked that one out there. He did. He got all of that. Good job by that young man. Yes. Helping out the Cardinals' cause. Put it right in the gap, but over the right field is head. All right, so with Mr. Good Time, are they going pinch runner, or what are they doing? Yep, they're going to go with a pinch runner. Looks like that's going to be number 13, and I apologize. I do not have all the names and the numbers. I tried to get it earlier, but... Did he did he hurt himself a little bit? I He's don't. kind of walking gingerly. He is walking, yeah. I don't know. But here comes number 13 to pinch run for Mardelli. I don't even... Yeah, I think he, I think he tweaked something there. He might have. Going to throw a new ball into the game for the uh, for the Brockton pitcher. Boy, them lights made a big difference. Oh, my God. And they turned them on. All right, so we have a pitch runner for Mardelli. With one out. And that's a hit Ooh, in the center field. Another one field. tagged. That's tagged over the center field to set. Turning and scoring is the pinch runner. And standing on second is Speck. So a run in with one out here in the sixth. And another back-to-back -back double for the Cardinals. Yeah, both hard hit balls out there to uh, right center. And Brennan has seen enough. He's gonna make, he's gonna make some changes. He's gonna yep. put, so going to right field. I believe it's right field. We'll give you that gentleman's number in a minute. I hope I can pronounce it. <laughs> Zeke's done. And I believe 
That's Foreman coming. No, the right fielder came in, right? Yeah, the right fielder. So that would be... That would be Anasco, I believe. And going to set, going, that's uh, Keen. Brett Keen is now in right field. Who he can throw. That was pretty good. Yeah. Brady Anusco, yeah, he is in, in the pitch. So he'll get his eight warm ups. Yep, kid can throw gas. Yeah, you can hear the, the um, catcher's mitt pop. Yep. You know he's got a little heat. Yep, and he has a changeup. Yep. All right, there we stand, 13 to 7. Here in a break here in the sixth inning with one out. As we had two back to back doubles, and uh, Coach, Coach Brennan said he, Chris Brennan, in his sixth year at the high school, says he's seen enough. Yeah. And put a band aid on that right away. Nothing wrong with Zig's pitches. The, the Spellman hitters was just timing him. Yeah. He just wasn't getting the breaks he was hoping to get. You know, kudos to, to uh, the Cardinals. Yeah. Give him credit. So as we stand right now in this break, again, one out, one on. 13 to 7 here in the sixth. Yeah, boxes need to shut this down. They don't want it. Well, they don't want the Cardinals to get too much momentum. Buckley steps in. Buckley is 0 for 3 on the day. Flied out for the center fielder for the third out in the first. Flied out to the left center fielder for the second out in the third, and struck out for the second out in the fifth. Swan and missed. Nice pitch. Just want to do throw it right down to Pike and make him hit it. He looked at second. Here's the pitch. And that's hit the second. Oh, it gets by the second. Gets by Little in the right field for a base hit. He did not put his glove down did quick enough. Put, no, he didn't. You can see him trying to make a play. Yeah. And if it changed direction, you would know it hit his glove. Break there for the Cardinals. Here comes Mastroni. He is... One for one on the day, walked in the second, doubled in the third, walked and scored in the fifth. Double play could get the boxes right out of this inning. First and third, one out. That's low. Here's the pitch. Called strike right there at the knees. There's his pitch. Same pitch. Nice. Two strikes. Nice. My stronger was like, where the heck did that pitch come from? <laughs> There's a pitch with two strikes. Woo! Got him on the K. Through, through the high heat, tempted him to swing at it, and he did. So with two outs, here comes a, the pitch, the starting pitcher who's now playing what? Yeah, first base. Uh, Batetti walked in the second, rounded up five to three to end the third, walked and scored in the fifth. That's inside. Yeah, big challenge here for the big righty. He's on the mound right now. He's got a left-handed hitter coming up at the plate. He and sets 1-0. Another block to Joe by LaRusso. <laughs> they fans, throw the fastball. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> you know he's got heat. But, you know, it, it's tough when you got the batter on the other side of the batter's box. It, it's tough. It's, it the, it's tough. a different look. No, you're right. It really is. Here's the pitch. We didn't, all right. can't see the play, so we don't know how he yeah. missed. High and outside. You're right. Can't even see the plate. Mr. Umpire, they're paying you 70 bucks a game. Use <laughs> your brush. Here's the pitch. Ooh. That's low. That was close. And they walked him. That'll load him up. With two out? That will load him up with two outs. Nice patient hitter. That'll bring up... Uh, 
Let's see if they get another. Do you think they're gonna they're gonna go back to the resignated, the original designated hitter? No. Skaponski's coming out, and in comes. Try to get you this gentleman's number in one second. We apologize. Right in and better, number 20. 20. He's in the designated hitter spot for the for Spellman in this game. Anushko, here's his pitch. Nice call pitch. Strike. Nice pitch. Right down the pike. Right there at the thighs. I mean, just above the kneecaps. Mm -hmm. Here's the 0-1. So on and missed. This kid got some good stuff. Got some good stuff. That's why you're hearing from the bit from the uh, dugout. Just those strikes. Make him swing. Here's the 0-2. Yeah. Got him. Got him on heat. That ends the inning. But the Cardinals have scored one after five and a half. Your score, Brockton 13, Cardinals Spellman 7. Yeah, and I tell you, Don, that's a tough way for the Cardinals to end the inning. They had the bases loaded. Two out, of course, but yep. that, that's a tough way to end it. And you only get one run out of that inning. Big, big inning for the uh, Brockton Boxers to get out of that inning. Yes, sir. So what we got, bottom of the sixth? Bottom of the sixth. Was, it's almost six. This is a long game. You got to be kidding me. What time? It's almost six o'clock. Wow. I told the missus, yeah, it'll be about a two hour, two hour and 15 minute game. Well, you, you know, know, you better watch out. <laughs> she's like, where's Dominic taking my guy now? <laughs> A lot of action here. A lot of action. A lot of baseball. You know, mm -hmm. this is only game four for Brockton, game five for the Sp for Spellman. Still a lot of wrinkles in the play yeah. and yeah. judgments in the field. It's, and it's still chilly. Still chilly, yep. I see my Mike the Postman is hanging in there on camera. Yes, sir. he's Producing, producing and directing. And he's getting a little exercise to oh, keep yeah. warm. I think I, I think I saw him do a karate kid's pose. Yeah. I wasn't sure. His daughter probably taught him that one. All right, now we have another pitcher in relief for uh, Spellman. We'll get you the gentleman's number in two seconds. That's number six. I believe that's Mastrani. I believe that's him. And what I noticed with that last pitcher, he kind of held the boxes for a time, but once they got used to him. Yeah, they got an inning. They got two innings out of him. Yeah. Mardelli. They, yeah, the catcher. Looked, yeah. Yeah. He did okay until um, finally the boxes caught up with him. So Kelly is still catching behind the plate. Ooh, bad bounce. Oh, nice catch. Yeah. And, yeah, I believe that's, I believe that's who it is. Again, I apologize and, with the lineups. But here we go as we get ready for the bottom of the sixth and leading off for the Brockton Boxers. Number 11, Brady Foreman, who's now playing first base. And here we go. High and away, ball one. Working out of the stretch. Here's the pitch. It's got an interesting delivery. Absolutely. He's usually he's using most of his arm. He's not using yeah, most of his exactly, legs. Exactly. Yeah. Using mostly his arm. Coach Sean's is probably trying to get some innings out of his, you know, three and oh. And <laughs> Procton Ben. Where do yeah, okay, you get in there and have something to hit you. I like it's so funny when they say that. All right, here we go. The three zero shows bunt takes ball four, and we got our first base runner for the boxers and as Foreman reaches base on balls. Yeah, that's not a good sign for the Connell Spellman team, where the new pitcher comes in and walks the. I don't know if he even threw a strike. 
I had, no, that would be correct. Four straight balls. So here we go. As ja uh, excuse me. He look, the pitcher looks over. Looks. That's a balk. That's a balk. Yeah. And this picture. Uh, what's his name? I, the Cardinals. I, th I think it's Mastrani. Well, I, you know, from what I'm seeing, as far as him throwing that ball down the plate, I wouldn't worry about the first base runner. He just needs to worry about throwing strikes. So the pitcher sets his delivery, swung Ooh. and missed as oh, Jackson O'Brien took a, a high fastball. He took the high fastball. He wanted to hit the RMV yeah. over the left field wall with that swing. Yeah. There's a pitch in the dirt, blocked. Ball one, uh, ball one, one ball, one strike. Nobody out here in the sixth. 13 to seven, boxers. Boxers looking to improve to three and one. And there's a ball hit. That's gonna get in Left the gap, in the gap. It falls in for a hit, going to third. And standing on third is Foreman. And O'Brien has another hit. I tell you what, that was brave running by Foreman because that was in short that was. left and if he takes a good cross foot hop, yeah, he could throw a bullet. If third. he could have threw a bullet, but he didn't. Yep. And Foreman is is given th is gotten third base, daring base running, but it paid off. All right, so here we go, first and third, nobody out, and now batting. Right, this is a new hitter here for the boxers. Ball high, throwing down the second. And it's second and third. Runner did not go. Foreman held his own at, excuse me, at third base. So now in the box, this is Tyler Erickson. So Tyler Erickson steps in for the boxers. He is batting for Amani uh, LaRusso. He looks. That's high. Erickson now. Here's the pitch. That's in the dirt. He'll take ball four. So Erickson bats in the sixth. For the Russo, he takes a base on balls. Yeah, base is loaded. Yes, sir. And that will bring, that is not Dominic Hopkins. That is, not, oh, that is, no, that's a Nusco. That's right. So that is a Nusco. I got ahead of Nusco, myself. yes. Yep. And we'll get to him in a sec. We'll get to him in a second. And that's popped up. That could shallow right field. Second baseman goes out, makes the catch, tagging and scoring. Is Foreman and add one more and moving over are the base runners. Great heads up play by the base runner there. 14 to seven. Who's that Foreman? Nice base running by Foreman. O'Brien moves over and Erickson moves over. And we have a fly out to four for the first out in the sixth. A fly out with a slight collision between first base and right fielder, but yep. first base was able to hang on to it. Yep. But Teddy almost ran into him. Ball one. Ball high. One out, two on, one in for the for the boxers here in the sixth. Ooh. That gets away. A lot of chatter over there from the boxes oh, dugout. Oh, yeah. No mercy. Here's the pitch. That's in the dirt. And that'll load him up. Load him up again. This should be Sammy um, Balti. Balti is two for four on the day. We'll get to his stats right after this pitch that gets away. For Balti, he singled in the first, struck out to end the second, flew out to the left fielder for the second out, 
Singleton scored in the fifth. Here's the pitch, called strike. Caught the outside he corner. Did. He did. That gets away from the pitcher. Yeah. I believe that's two and one. Pitcher sets, working out of the, the stretch. That gets away from the nice play by the catcher. Yeah, the Cardinals pitcher has a hard time keeping that ball around the plate. That's high and away, you'll walk in a run. So another run comes in for the boxers as O'Brien scores. That moves Erickson to third, Hopkins to second. Of course, Balti reaches on the base on balls. Base is still loaded with one out. As Reese Little steps in. Little is officially one for three on the day. Singled in the first, rounded out five to three in the third. Flew out to center to right fielder to end the fourth. Got hit by pitched and scored. Then another run just came in? Yeah. All right, another run just came in. Wow. As pitch. Erickson scored on a wild pitch. That moves Hopkins to third. Yeah. Balti to second. We gotta get better interns for next game. Definitely. The pitcher sets. Here's the pitch. That's called strike. Generous. That was a generous strike. I was I'm never not, told I'm to not, do I'm that. I'm not mad at the ump, but that, that was a generous strike. I was never told to do that as an official. Here's the pitch. Inside. Used to umpire? Dom? Used to umpire? I still do. Oh. 31 years. Wow. When I was thin. <laughs> All right. Now I need more water. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Swan and missed. Got him. They're going to say they got him. And he goes down by the means of the K for the second out. So Little takes the seat. Swung on and missed. That'll bring up. This should be. Number 12. Yep, Genitasso. Genitasso, Nick. Number 12. We'll get to his stats in a minute for the day. Takes ball high. Uh, ground out six to three to end the first. Walked and then was put out two to six for the second out, singled and scored in the fifth. Called strike. They went right down the pipe. Yeah, Brockton now is making this pitch a pitch. He is. Two out, second and third. Here's the pitch. Called strike. Just inside. Brockton has scored three runs in the third. 15 to three, I got three runs in the sixth. Now that's off. What do we have, 15 to seven? 16 to seven. Yeah, because we got the pass, ball, the uh, the ball gets by Here comes Hopkins, and another run scores for Brockton. 17. And that'll officially do it. That'll be the end of the game as the mercy rule is applied. The Brockton Boxers win 17 to 7. Four. Mike, the postman. Before we go, I got to yeah. talk to you, old man. Yeah, uh, Brockton overcame that. That tough inning where Cardinal Spellman tied them up, but they came back with resilience in the next inning and uh, basically shut this whole thing down. Uh, I see Cardinal Spellman's problem is they don't have a, a really um, great bullpen, which kind of hurts them. Yeah, That's why they team. came into this game one and four. But Brockton looks very promising. 
they got some good ball players on that team. Yeah, not bad for uh, not bad for resiliency in their yes. fourth game of the season. Yes. The box is improving to three and one, like you just talked about, a seventeen to seven winning with uh, the town rival Cardinal Spellman over on Court Street. Four, four Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano, producer and director Mike, the Postman Simmons. We hope you enjoyed. This broadcast of Brockton Boxer Baseball. We will catch you next time. Everyone have a fantastic day. Go Boxers.